Cutting edge. Yeah. Yeah. Greetings, Luca. This is Swan. Ah, Can you hear me? Ma'am. Long time I don't hear from you. Yes, it's been a long time. Mm. I'm actually just returning from Egypt, and I'm hearing your show, and I'm just calling. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. You, you, you're hearing from Egypt, or you just come from Egypt? I just came from Egypt okay. and then Istanbul. Okay, okay. Just got back to the United States. Okay. And I'm hearing you, and I'm just calling in profound appreciation for your work. Okay, I'm hearing you as watchmen working to decolonize the minds, and I just hope that people of the world can listen, take heed, and take action with these words. Give tongues, Mom. Because, you know, we see the, colon the colonial mindset is continuing to keep people in perpetual bondage. And the primary tool that they use to do this is religion. And you are one of the few people in the world that I hear speaking and got a national platform to speak this truth that has to be heard. Yeah. Because this mindset, this this brainwashing is continuing to destroy our planet. Yeah. You know, I'm there, I'm there in Egypt and I'm feeling the impact of the, the British Empire and knowing that at its peak, the British Empire held over 13 million square miles. That's a quarter of the world's landmass. And that's my ancestors. And the way they did this going in and taking these lands is, is creating this myth of supremacy, coming in as the bullies, as the demons, coming and destroying what's there and under the guise of Christianity we're coming, we're bringing the light, we're bringing the truth and the way and we're bringing this destruction while we're demonizing the traditional practices and the spiritual practices of people throughout the world people who ha and particularly people who have earth based spiritual practices we ban them, we outlaw them, we call them voodoo you know, going into Egypt the, one of the first things the British did, they took the pyramids and they said no indigenous people allowed here. So I'm um, there a few days ago and now the Arabs have taken over that role. So the British took it from the Ottomans, now the Arabs are controlling it and, and under Islam doing the same thing. Saying you can't come here, you can't practice anything other. Well, you, actually, you can't practice any religion be, there because you know they've got no respect for the tradition of the pharaohs. The English had no respect except a fascination, a sort of, you know, in our in our Orientalism, we have a we have a fetishizing of any indigenous practice and anything we don't understand, but a demonizing at the same time. So we go in and we claim it and say this is off limits to anyone else. And now we see the Arabs doing that to the point where you cannot go and you cannot pray, you cannot meditate, you cannot perform any form of ceremony at the pyramids. So I'm there with Abba Zero and he's in ceremony. He's in ceremony in an ancient African tradition that they don't understand. They call in the police. They call in the army. If he wasn't out of zero, he'd be in prison right now. So we see how... Wait, wait, what, what, what he was doing that... When you say what he did that caused the... the, the you know, his presence, even entering the compound... In okay. his African glory. So he's in his African robes. Entering the compound, the guards gave him a hard time. They want to know what is this, who is he, why is he there. They followed him the entire way. The entire way up through past the Sphinx. And he's not even overtly doing ceremony there. He's internal. When he reaches uh, the, all of the way around, walking around yeah. the Great Pyramid, we're being followed. And people are warning us. We have a couple of people who are kind of uh, kind of calling to us, just saying, "Just watch out! They're watching you. Watch out! They're watching you." Uh -huh, okay. And when he gets to the fourth side of the Great Pyramid, mm -hmm. and he's just in chant, and it's it's an African language. It's something they don't understand. They don't know what's going on. That's when they kind of close in and approach, mm -hmm. and they want to know what are you doing here, and they want to see the camera. And I'm filming. I'm filming. I'm documenting, and they want the camera and. You know, there's fear in the people because there's something that they don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the craziness. Yeah. So if it's Islam that's running the country and Islam that's saying, okay, these sites, these, these ancient holy sites, uh, these, are, these are infidels, you know, these are yeah, this is against down. our way. They have been breaking them down in Iraq and in Syria. They have been chewing them down terribly in Syria and Iraq. Say again? No, I said they have been breaking down all of those ancient sites in exactly. Iraq and in, in, in Syria and in Iraq. 
that they have been marching them down? Marching them down because there's no respect for it. But in but in Egypt, it's money. Yeah. Mm. Right. It was for the British. It filled our, it filled the British Museum. It filled you know taking taking relics from all over from from Egypt and putting them in Paris, putting them in Rome, all over the world. It's yeah. co- it's commodity. Yeah. So the pyramids are a commodity, and the desecration of it is insane. It's it's a circus today. Yeah. You go there and you see it's pure Muslims because tourism from other parts of the world now is next to nil. Mm. The, the economy of Giza and Luxor, 80% of the economy is tourist economy. So since the revolution, the economy like, is it, shot. It's like Jerusalem. But this is, still, this is still what's feeding the people, though. This is the crazy thing. It's the pharaonics that are still feeding the people. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, and you see these Muslims who are going to this site that they do not respect as a holy site because it's against the religion, same as Christians, it's against the religion, they don't know what this is, but it's, you know, obviously it's not Christian, it's not Muslim, it's before them, it's misunderstood, but it's, it's a tribute to, in their eyes, gods that, um, that don't exist, can't uh, exist. Uh. And yet, you see these Muslims at the pyramids defending something that they don't respect because of the money that's involved. They'll, yeah, they'll yeah, defend yeah, it and they'll hold yeah. these sites. And at the same time, when you hear the call to prayer go out, no one stops to pray. Prayer, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is this, what is this that's being defended? Secularism amongst yeah. Arabs. Just like secularism amongst Christians. Yes. Yeah. So, so when you speaking tonight it's just the feeling of the significance of people getting that christianity came with the colonizer the demon colonizer came in and killed the people and enslaved the people and took the land and continue to this day yeah. even though england doesn't officially own that quarter of the world's landmass officially yeah. as a, yeah. as a yeah. colonial force yeah. it still does it still dominates well, it's those a, lands in terms of the resources but the minds when we brought in Christianity and said your way is wrong is demonic and we are replacing it with the right way yeah. that that has carried on for centuries and it looks like there's no end in sight I say they don't, they don't have to be present you know what God no we say everybody celebrating Christmas uh, and they don't understand it has nothing to do with them it has something to do with whosoever was in power at the time when they were slaves and now people behaving like it's for them thing. You know, it's terrible. But well, it's, well, as you point out, too, Christmas has no ba- there's no there's no spiritual reality to Christmas. No, Even Santa in the myth, Jesus Claus. wasn't born in the winter time. No. The myth, it, it holds it holds no meaning. We've replaced so. Even with, it it just shows you the hypocrisy. The religion, the way that it celebrates its so-called holy days Mm. are with chocolate and bunnies and, and Uh, who, what, and this man in the red suit who comes down with the flying, it, it's, it shows you the hypocrisy. What those holy days are today is commodities, it's sales, Mm. it's economy. Just as the religion came in to control, to control these these lands throughout yeah. the world for the commodification of the people and the land. Yeah. You can see it. You see it in the holy days. What are these holy days? How are they celebrated? Yeah, you control the land. You control the pe- if you control the land, you control the people. Yeah, and you control the mind forever with the religion. Yes, definitely. And the, and the white man has done a number on the people of the world, bringing this religion and telling them. And, and the, the sad thing is that the hypnotic the hypnotic repetition yeah. of the stories of the Bible, people don't see it. They can't see for what it is. They don't see the voodoo in the Bible, first of all, as you're calling out. You know, they don't see that when Moses throws down the staff and it turns into a snake, what is that? Yeah. When Samson's locks are cut, he loses his strength, what is that? That's voodoo. Yeah. So the Bible is full. When Jesus uh, mixes the saliva with the mud, puts it on the blind man's eyes, he can see, what is that? That's voodoo. Yeah. 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 But we take so the white man has demonized everything, everything of value in Africa has either been claimed as if Egypt is not Africa anyway, because there's something there that goes back before Egypt that's a mystery, you know, that goes back before Europe, that's yeah. a mystery. Yeah. So Europe even claims that, takes Egypt out of Africa, makes Egypt into a white thing where Elizabeth Taylor can play Cleopatra. So what we like of it, we take and we claim, and the contradictions in it we ignore. Yeah. And then we bring in Christianity... So the white man is God, and that will perpetually keep the people in bondage and keep the thing going forever. Is there an end to it? There must be an end to it. Good must overcome. That is what we always say. And we really 
We're not superstitious about good, but we know that good must overcome. Well, if good is to overcome, it means that people have to heed the voice and hear and really hear the call that you're putting out. And what you're doing as a watchman for the people, it's it's to be it's to be praised and prized. Give thanks. Yeah. Give thanks, sister. Thank, thank All right. you. Well, you know, I know I'm there. I know I'm good at listening beside you. I'm going like him not there, but you know up still. I will. I will. As soon as I see him, I will. Yeah. I will pass that on. So give thanks, Muta. Give thanks. All right. We have a thing them call black magic. It have a black feet body you now. That is where them give it black magic. And the thing with Europeans is that them have two entity where them fall into when them deal with these magic. Is either it is going to an entity named the devil. Or it is a going to an entity named God. It's just a flip side of the same kind. But when them say black magic, it's supposed to be opposing good. So the, the, the person who the person who practice black magic go into the realms of Deviant and almost no, I really can't say that on the radio, so I'm not gonna say that. But them them project a certain thinking and a way that is opposite to where you call good when normal human beings would have referred to as good. And when we look upon how Europeans practice this, I mean seriously, they practice it against nature. Yes. Indigenous people, when they practice what them would have call voodoo and obia, it is not against nature that them is doing it. Them doing it with nature. It's just that we get so corrupt, Anya, so now. That when we mention these words, and you have some little idiot people, when them said them is Obia man and voodoo priest and them thing there, them become part of that devious behavior that was handed down through years of slavery and decadent behavior. So we look upon how Europe set them thing. And the superstition, the superstitious nature of human beings is known all over. But when you get superstitious to the point where you feel, say, another human being is not a human being, because of them color of them skin. And you, de- you, 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 you put them down to the level of animals. You know, say, your superstition gone, we out, we trapped. To the point now where you make it become a, a philosophy. You make it become a philosophy. The philosophy is that I am white, you is black, and you is less of a human being, and I going to use my whiteness to overpower you by any means necessary. And I'm going to do things that is unnatural. 
unnatural to maintain that supremacy over people who them classify as black. And at a wider extent, African. And when we look on European issues, we see them use to use it against themselves. Them use superiority against themselves. You have people who recognize, like for instance, the Italians, who them claim mix up, and the Spaniards, who them call as bastardized Europeans, because there was a time when African people used to control and overrun them side of the world especially in Spain, Granada, and also in Italy, Hannibal, go over there, take the elephant them through the Italian Alps there, and intermingle and mix up. So most, most Europeans see the Italians as not pure white. Because somewhere along the line, if you check a lot of Italians, they have some kind of coloring mix up in a them. We are said that because we say that even from the offset of the King James version of the Bible, there's a certain amount of witchcraft that take place in it that is sanctioned by God where we would have looked upon as the other side of the kind, the devil, if it was to be done in this time, in this part of the world, by a black person. Yes? If we was to declare certain things that we read in the Bible and declare it in this time, say, it's God sent business that. People that say, I'm mad, you're yeah, mad. A witchcraft, you got hobia, ya hobia man, ya voodoo this and ya voodoo that. Yet still, normal people, religious people, Christian people, fanatically read it and justify it because them say it's the work of God. Even though them recognize, say, in their own conscience, in at this time at the 21st century, they would have never agree with those things. Never agree with it. No, them have we agree with Santa Claus. Reindeer a fly, man a come through chimney, all these things. These things is to cloud your mind, cloud your consciousness. It's a psychological war that is used through culture. Because culture is the highest level of any discipline you can find. Culture is not just dancing and singing, as we always tell the people. Sociology, archaeology, religion, politics, economics, all of them derive from culture. Culture is what define a people. Culture is where you can study and figure out the ways of a people through the ages. And if you understand the people in culture, you'll be best able to understand how earth should run. But through a whole of people don't get no time and don't take no time to understand the ways of a set people. Because what them do is come and them see the culture and them say, oh no, no, we can't tolerate that kind of culture. That is deviant behavior. That is devil worship. That is not in form with Christianity. And Christian principles is the only thing must stand. Especially in the Western world. So when we look upon all them project this white supremacist idea that is derived from a certain kind of superstition which comes out of a imbalance can any people that can come in our next man world and just cut down all of them tree them 
cut down all of the tree them and create devastation in people that now we say food is not food again people get scared now for evil eat after we do that tell them to plant your food plant your food people take it for joke mm-hmm. now them guys know what it is when we say plant your own food what it mean so we look on it now and we say all right the obia man is a no no the food do preachers are no no anytime you hear about them things they're black the black we have it is no no but when you look on how it is manipulated by white people now and you look on the ideas surrounding these witchcraft that is sanctioned by God in the Bible that normal people today would never tolerate these things but because it is done in the Bible people say okay anything God do him know where him I do you can't question that in the times of those days them used to have blood sacrifice them still have blood sacrifice now you have blood sacrifice in a most what I call primitive cultures. I don't really like to use the word primitive, but to go and say it. In a whole heap of cultures, there are blood sacrifices where people sacrifice human beings. Yes, people sacrifice human beings to the gods. People sacrifice human beings to the gods. Bully pop nations and people, tribes and all these people do it. And people still sacrificing people to the God. And what you think say, Jesus Christ is? Jesus Christ is a human sacrifice according to Bible. No one would ever agree with these things. If a man tell him, if a man have him only son and carry him go to an half a tree and say, he must shoot him son to save the world. He would be charged for murder. Or if them hold him before him do it, they would have charged him for attempted murder. The problem with that story, looking at it in the eyes of the 21st century, is that we, we, and I say we because I was in it too, we grab onto the story. If we say a man kill him own son, and you call it now a good thing. Because the killing of him is supposed to save the world. But when you look 2,000 years after, the world is in more devastation and more wickedness and cruelty than any other time. Any other time. So what was the purpose of the sacrificing the blood sacrifice? The blood sacrifice represent a certain primitive idea and understanding that was done through the ages by primitive people. We are in the 21st century. Why would we want to uphold a father who kill him son and claim that in the death of that son, that blood, if you wash in that blood, you will be saved. Saved from what? What will you be saved from? Plastic rice? What will you be saved from? Because we are all in this thing together. We have to work it out. All in this thing together, we have to work it out. And we are saying, primitive men used to sacrifice them children. Them children were sacrificed to the gods. Not just Christianity come up with that. Not Christianity come up with that. But Christianity perpetuated on a bigger level. Because people used to sacrifice animals virgins and 
anything that them can find. The best of those things, them used to sacrifice. Because them feel, say, in the killing of that thing and the shedding of that blood, they'll become a certain salvation to the tribe. The tribe will have a certain salvation. So them use that ritual. Them use that ritual as a symbol of liberation and salvation. But we see the perpetuation of that primitive thinking through the ages by a group of people who come now and say at something or someone who is the father kill them only son to save the world. Yeah, this is the question that I know some people don't like when I go there so with these things, you know. And I know, say, when I start out, I will put people never know, say, there's some me that go with it. <laughs> so I told them, they read a long time. But here we are, you know. <laughs> here we are, you know. Believe you me. We are talking about cultures. We are talking about African people. And where we do in our culture. And where other people do in our them culture. Or our thing look more evil and more you know, weird and for them thing is accepted and appreciated. All right. So we are talking about now sacrifice in indigenous cultures. And as I said before, every, well, every indigenous culture, or every culture, as a matter of fact, deal with, you, with, with sacrifice, whether it's human or animal sacrifice, because the symbolism of that that the shedding of blood will redeem whosoever the sacrifices go up to. So, we now hear about voodoo and obia in our culture. And people look down upon them thing there. But we are now draw reference to what we grew up with, grew up with as children and hear about. And we never see it as strange and weird that we are accept these things. But now when we hear about voodoo and obia now, we look down upon it. And we are saying, there's no, there's no difference in the symbolism that is expressed through biblical stories as it relates to God or as it relates to what we call African retentions in, 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 in spirituality. You understand? So when I hear a man kill a chicken, you kill the chicken and you sprinkle the blood and you give home to that. People say, no, them can't take that. But yet still every day them go to church and say them want to be washed in the blood of Jesus. What's that terrible? It's a terrible symbolism that. But nobody no look at it no way because it come to me pretty. It come to me like Santa Claus. It come to me like Santa Claus. It's like how people wear cross around them neck. Why, why, would, why, would, why would Jesus die upon a cross where the Romans them, is the, the Romans them used to kill criminals upon a cross? It's a symbol of suffering and shame. Why would you want to wear that around your neck, that kill, that them hang your savior upon? Why would you want to do that? Suppose it was an electric chair. You have to say every Christian would have walked around with an electric chair around them neck. Or if it was a noose, would everybody walk around with a rope tied around them neck? Or if it was an you know, them in America, them inject you. You don't want to walk around with a needle around your neck. Why would you want to do that? You want to raise him out of debt. And bring the life force. So why would you want to perpetuate that tragedy? And we look on the history. Because there's a certain superstition that leads you to that. And may I tell you that? In all, even the primitive religions that are practice these things. is a certain superstition that lead them to it. I know why you follow the reasoning, you know, because when I just say the thing them up as hardly, you know, we have a reason and a purpose why we are carried on the level there. You understand? 
Vous avez le pan qui est un evil. An evil story of Cain and Abel will show you, say, one of them are far up. One of them was a hunter, and one of them was a, a farmer. And Cain was the man who had planted, and him offered fruits to the Lord. And the other one offered animal to the Lord. And the Lord never liked the fruit offering, and him accept the animal offering, sacrifice. To we, in at this modern time, yeah, I don't know if I would have really want to accept a man go out there, go kill an animal and bring it, come give me, as opposed to man bring some fruits and vegetables, come give me. I mean, some people that do that because you have carnivorous people all over the Western world, yeah. And they remove it down where if a man I go in a boat with a pair of every animals for how much days and how much night and as him come out of the boat the Lord say he must take the best of whatsoever and offer it up as a sacrifice because the Lord love it the scent of dead flesh them things are is things where if if we if somebody did in a Saint Thomas and behave and react that way, people they will look down upon him. But we accept it because it is in our book that is deemed to be the word of God. And anything where the Lord do cannot be questioned. But I as a 21st century human being have to question those primitive thinking that a man should not take him son. Because something in his head tell him, say, go and go kill that son. And then put the son upon the altar. And in his head, the son say, the, the, the wife say, no, no, don't do it. But I just want to prove if you love me. That is primitive superstition. That is superstition as highest level. Because this benevolent, all-powerful, this thing that create every human being upon earth and every living thing that is seen and unseen. That you, I tell me, say, it want evidence and proof that you love it. You are tell me, say, there's something that create me and create the birds, the flowers, the bees and the trees. Want, a, want you to prove to it that you love it to the point where now I'm going to tell you, say, boy, right now, go, they're going to get your son and put it on an altar and kill him. And when him say, you're going to do it, him say, no, I don't see that try to prove if you love me. Say, the animal, they take the animal and do it instead. It's a terrible, terrible visual that but people accept it and then put all marked up all sorts of explanations and connotations for make it pretty and make it look like say something where you must accept. That's why when the people them come now with them witchcraft, it almost look no it don't look no different from where them would have it do. Because the same thing the witch them are do. It's the same thing the people who believe on the other side of the kind of do. It's just that one do it to an entity named devil and one do it to an entity named God. But the outcome is the same. The outcome is the same. What is the outcome? The outcome that there's no outcome. More than it is just symbolism that derives from superstition. That is what it is. The outcome is that there's no outcome. Because it is based upon a superstition. That's all it is. It's superstition. And in at this 21st century, there's no reason. There's no reason. There's no human reason. There's no natural reason why I should accept that as a practical, normal behavior 
for something that I declare is the most powerful, most benevolent, most kind, loving, generous, honest, decent thing that I can ever perceive or conceive in my head. So we are suffering from a kind of almost a psychological deficiency that keep us perpetually hanging to these symbols. Symbols that don't recognize the evolution of the human spirit and the human mind where human beings evolve from one stage to the next. And we keep corrupting ourselves with all of these things. So when an African come now and he goes, so boom, and him do this, he said, well, all right, now them people there, them people there, primitive, look what them still are though. And I talk about them, I worship them God. And you now realize, but you are doing the same thing in a different way, just that your things now is legitimized by the power that is powerful. And anyone that is in power, or any group that is in power, their ideas and their ways will be used to manipulate the powerless. The greatest weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. And we look upon it as something cruel and wicked when we as African people start to realize we're Africanness and then all of a sudden we say, no, 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 you can't do it that way then. You know, to say, yeah, behave weird and terrible. But when them do it and put it up and put it in a nice book with some soft paper and put a gold writing on it, my King James Version and put holy on it and that grab it out, the holy part. Terrible thing. When a man can show you, say, he must destroy a group of people and save a, a, a group of people in our country. And he must tell the people, them, say, watch out. I'm going to destroy these people. You are going to, you are going to do it now. I'm going to do it by stages. First, I'm going to pollute the water. Well, I'm going to do all that thing. I don't know the first thing, but him did them almost ten, almost ten things them bring down upon the people them. One thing lead to the next. It's not, it don't just up as hardly happen. One thing lead to the next. And then the last thing, because the disease takes the upon the land now, it will wipe out the first ban of all of the other people them in the land. This is done by a benevolent person, you know. Or something that is benevolent. But it's going to save now some people where you claim say it's your people. This is a story written by the oppressor to keep in subjugation to the story, you know. That's all it is doing, you know. It is oppressing you, keeping your subjugation to a story that tells you, say, look, you know. I'm going to put a mark on this door. And I'm going to tell you, go around the place and put a mark on this door. Because anybody do have any mark on this door, the destroyer going to come and chop off them head. Are them going to get the disease? So what them I put on the door, maybe it's some antidote. And then now it wipe out every firstborn in the city, in the land. And what it was supposed to do? All it was supposed to do is to make the man who, the prime minister, the emperor, the king, the pharaoh, let go the people them. And it is supposed to show you now the power of the Lord you know, by, by, by genocide, murdering, woolly for children, firstborn children. This is supposed to be acceptable. It's supposed to be acceptable, you know. That you're going to murder all the firstborn children that do have nothing to do with where the Pharaoh do. Make could say the Pharaoh is the enemy. But you're going to wipe, you're going to wipe out all the firstborn children them now. For sure how powerful it is. And then now 
him going to submit and say, since him don't want no more children dead, we must let go the people them. So when him let go the people them, the people them, and that me I show you all the thing get corrupted. The same people them we get saved after them leave the country. It's the same people them turn against the something that them clear make them get to leave the country. So this, the entity that make them leave the country. Him never understand and know say them will turn against him. So him wipe out him wipe out a city of children who was first man. And then come back now. I forgot to wipe out some of them same people that did that save. Because when them leader go up to the mountain and they never see him come back, them turn against him and say, we could make something that can represent something we used to know in Egypt. And them come out now and cast them lot and burn and make either. And them come down and vex and just mash up everything and never bully for people like dead or earthquake. So after all of that, after all of the animals, they were in the ark for save, for come out back. When the ark, when the animal them come out, him say make we have up a sacrifice because me prefer me prefer dead animal than vegetables than fruits. And after all of the killing in Egypt, the same people them who see have still come out and say, "Watch out now, we can't but a weird pan of guy we going up no mountain go turn no rasta you know." Because meanwhile him up there now, he might do something club that thing too. He might throw down rod and it a ton snake. He might go out in front of Pharaoh, throw down rod and never know if Pharaoh could have done the same thing. Rod, I mean, rod a ton snake. I mean, all this bush attack. All these little obia things. Everyone calls all these little witchcraft things are gone. But people don't see it as witchcraft because they give the power to an entity that is not visible. The entity that them give the power to is not visible. And because it is not visible, them can give the power to it and more power to it. That is superstition at its highest level. This is the cutting edge on RFM. Some more about what happened back at door. Listen, alien in the backyard. Come along and watch the alien in the backyard. Hallelujah, alien in the backyard. If you want to hear something, come and hear me to sing about the alien in the backyard. If you want to pamper a job, I'm going to charge you only to pop. It is right and on the go, and a younger burning low. You know, so my granny used to carry me go to a barnyard. Yes, I will pop young people don't know when they're in barnyard, but my granny used to carry me there. The thing with Jamaican people who go to church every Sunday is that them praise Jesus. But when them in a problem, them go to the Obia man. If you want to hear something, come and hear me to sing about the healing in the barnyard. So you know, say, a whole heap of people, whole heap of people, you know, a whole heap of man get rich in a Jamaica. I mean, I show you the psychology deep, you know. You know how much a whole heap of people get rich in a Jamaica? A whole heap of man get rich? Because a whole heap of people want to have foreign. And when them pray and pray and pray, Lord, let me get my visa. Them also compliment it with the Obia man. Them go to the, oh, they wait there. 
Then I remember when Prime Minister did have a man walk around with her and say, she's going to win, she's going to win, she's going to win, she's going to win. And she lose. Then I hope you man that. I hope you man that. It's just a terrible clown, hope you man. Him use the name of Jesus and God to come put it in our, our little dear beloved sister P to come tell her she's going to win the election and she can't lose. Because the power of the Lord there with her and she lose. Terrible people them. Terrible people them. If it was a real old Obi Man, you think they should have loads. I mean, I tell you, I hope you don't know any bar man, but if you can't go to your granny, go to your Well, young people have to go to them great grandmother now, because if the grandmother they don't know any names or no, because I pay a young grandmother about the place. My granny used to carry me to Barmyard, and she was a devoted Christian. She was a very, I remember mean, I devoted Christian. She calls bad road very devotedly. And she got church, Baptist church. Run a run a wet name there. Uh, street, a pencil street that uh, anyway, Jones Street, religiously. And she have her garlic and her lime in her pocket when she got market go sell. Garlic and lime in her pocket, in her apron, big apron with a big pocket there with enough money all in her. When you got coronation market. And if you if you check a whole heap of them woman there in a coronation market. Them go to church every Sunday. But guess what? Them still have them little thing from the side. Where them know, say, them have to compliment it. Them Christian thinking with them little things. A superstition, you know. A superstition. Everybody has superstition. At least most religious people, that is. Because religion needs to have a superstition. So most religious people is very superstitious. You know, them thinking. But it's just that when we as African people, when we as African people manifest our symbolism, our rituals that define we, our rituals them seem to be the terrible thing. You see? But when them walk around with cross around them neck, with man dead pan, it's not a terrible thing. When them go, and I tell you about saying this and saying that, it's not a terrible thing. When them cut down tree and put it in them house to represent nothing where I've nothing to do with Christianity, more than superstition, it's nothing. But when we use our things as African people, you hear say, well, black people too superstitious. Are you call them a do? You are more superstition than a man I tell you, say, a man I feed 5,000 people with five fish and twelve barley loaf and them something there. Eh? But yeah, it's a obia that, you know. But nobody now call that obia. It's called it miracle. <laughs> they call it miracle. It's like how we have jungle and them have forest. Because when you hear about jungle, you think on wild animals. When you hear about forest, you think on bugs bunny and you will get beer. We're going to play back that song again. This is the cutting edge. And I refer. Let's go through the pieces, you know, because it's strike I the things them where we see go on in at this time of the year that have nothing to do with we as African people, but we embrace it. And it is based upon some European superstition. And and, and we, we, we 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 crave that superstitious there, superstition there. And we hook up the superstition. And make it become a part of our reality. But when we now hear about an African perception and African perspective, people curse it. Over the years, we see it. People curse it. And sometimes the symbolism is no different, you know. It's just who present the symbolism, it become a problem. You know, it's like you throw away the baby with the bathwater or you kill the messenger rather than check for a message. Like what most people do when they listen to me. Them throw me away and uh, listen to me and say. Then long after no year, they might talk about. But wait, most of them say that, you know, <laughs> like the plastic rice, where we are telling about for a long time. And other things too. You remember when Takura talk about beef potato. A long time we are talking about beef potato, but people are wondering what the hell it is. You know, say the first time you come from really and talk about mad cow. People have said, where Muta get them food say from about mad cow? You know what mad the cow them? It's because them give the cow them cow to eat. 
them give the cow them cows to eat. Cows are not carnivorous creatures. Cows are vegetarian. Like myself here. And I wouldn't want a man to give me a man to eat. No eating in no way. But now we have mad cow. So it is no longer like a, a thing to say. Why well, mother mad man in my talk about mad cow. How cow can go mad. But we know why the cow get mad. And things like this we talk about. And people say, oh, I'm mad boy that not to be a foot raster man. I don't know what I say. Understand? So we we'll tell them about the plastic rice. Nobody's not taking heed to it. Now we see it's the number one thing about the place. Plastic rice. Cabo tell them about the plastic rice. For our program. Oh, cho. Cabo. Shall call African. Come with our African thing all the way. See, you know. If the watchman see the danger and don't want the people, the blood of the people will be on the issue. That's a quote from the Bible. And we are saying, with they are all the people them. And look how much things are the people in about. And catch up on them. And see, you know, genetically modified food is what it's all about. But them can't be on genetically modified now. They might use other things to create food, to give the people them. So yeah, the government that about them not find no plastic rice. They think they're going to find no plastic rice. They're not going to find The plastic rice don't go on a, don't go on a trace belly already. No. no. You understand? Them close the gates when they ask gone to because it done gone in there already. And them not find nobody are sick. Nobody now go sick because of plastic rice. No. But check out three year time I hear people are dead from something and they can't identify the sickness. Some say, but wait, you know what I'm saying? There's something that cause everybody that check long time. Just like all them children can modify the mosquito to them, forget you that they had a mosquito to them, and they had a mosquito to them create something else now with another disease. And so them go. And now we use a bees. It's an endangered species, endangered species in America. All the hell bees can be an endangered, uh, endangered species. But it is. Them say it. Not me say it. That is not conspiracy theory. But we want to play about this soon now. This is the cutting edge. Yeah, this is the cutting edge. And I refer to there with you. <laughs> I'm having conversation in other places. With, with, with um, Tracy. Okay, so we are going to open the phone lines. Um, yeah, we're talking off for the night. We are going to open the phone line them um, and see. We'll be on the phone line. All right, I'm going to play a tune now. We're going to play this tune now. I'm going to play the tune. Ready for that tune now? Okay. Cutting edge. Yeah. Yeah. Greetings, Luca. This is Swan. Ah, Can you hear me? ma'am. Long time I don't hear from you. Yes, it's been a long time. Mm. I'm actually just returning from Egypt, and I'm hearing your show, and I'm just calling. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. You, you, you're hearing from Egypt, or you just come from Egypt? I just came from Egypt okay, and okay. then Istanbul. Okay, okay. Just got back to the United States. Okay. And I'm hearing you, and I'm just calling in profound appreciation for your work. Okay, I'm that. hearing you as watchmen working to decolonize the minds, and I just hope that people of the world can listen, take heed, and take action with these words. Give thanks, Mom. Because, you know, we see the, colon the colonial mindset is continuing to keep people in perpetual bondage. And the primary tool that they use to do this is religion. And you are one of the few people in the world that I hear speaking and got a national platform to speak this truth that has to be heard. Yeah. Because this mindset, this this brainwashing is continuing to destroy our planet. Yeah. You know, I'm there, I'm there in Egypt and I'm feeling the impact of the, the British Empire and knowing that at its peak, the British Empire held over 13 million square miles. That's a quarter of the world's landmass. And that's my ancestors. And the way they did this going in and taking these lands is, is creating this myth of supremacy, coming in as the bullies, as the demons, coming and destroying what's there and under the guise of Christianity we're coming, we're bringing the light, we're bringing the truth and the way and we're bringing this destruction while we're demonizing the traditional practices and the spiritual practices of people throughout the world 
people who, and particularly people who have earth-based spiritual practices. We ban them, we outlaw them, we call them voodoo. You know, going into Egypt, the, one of the first things the British did, they took the pyramids and they said no indigenous people allowed here. So I'm there a few days ago, and now the Arabs have taken over that role. So the British took it from the Ottomans, now the Arabs are controlling it, and under Islam doing the same thing, saying you can't come here, you can't practice anything other. Well, you can, actually, you can't practice any religion be, there because you know they've got no respect for the tradition of the pharaohs. The English had no respect except of fascination, a sort of, you know, in our, in our Orientalism, we have a, we have a, fetishizing of any indigenous practice and anything we don't understand, but a demonizing at the same time. So we go in and we claim it and say this is off limits to anyone else. And now we see the Arabs doing that to the point where you cannot go and you cannot pray, you cannot meditate, you cannot perform any form of ceremony at the pyramids. So I'm there with Abaziro and he's in ceremony. He's in ceremony in an ancient African tradition that they don't understand. They call in the police, they call in the army. If he wasn't out of zero, he'd be in prison right now. So we see how... Wait, wait, what, what, what he was doing that... When you say what he did that caused the... the, the you know, his presence, even entering the compound in okay. his African glory. So he's in his African robes. Entering the compound, the guards gave him a hard time. They want to know what is this, who is he, why is he there. They followed him the entire way, the entire way up through past the Sphinx. He's not even overtly doing ceremony there. He's internal. When he reaches uh, the, all of the way around, walking around yeah. the Great Pyramid, we're being followed. And people are warning us. We have a couple of people who are kind of uh, kind of calling to us, saying, "Just watch out! They're watching you. Watch out! They're watching you." Uh -huh, okay. And when he gets to the fourth side of the Great Pyramid, mm -hmm. and he's just in chant, and it's it's an African language. It's something they don't understand. They don't know what's going on. That's when they kind of close in and approach, mm -hmm. and they want to know what are you doing here, and they want to see the camera. And I'm filming. I'm filming. I'm documenting, and they want the camera and. You know, there's fear in the people because there's something that they don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the craziness. Yeah. So if it's Islam that's running the country and Islam that's saying, okay, these sites, these these ancient holy sites, uh, these, are, these are infidels, you know, these are, yeah, no, this is against down. our way. They have been breaking them down in Iraq and in Syria. They have been chewing them down terribly in Syria and Iraq. Say again? No, I said they have been breaking down all of those ancient sites in exactly. Iraq and in, in, in Syria and in Iraq that they have been mashing them down mashing them down because there's no respect for it but in, but in Egypt it's money yeah mm. right it was for the British it filled, our, it filled the British museums it filled you know taking taking relics from all over from, from Egypt and putting them in Paris putting them in Rome all over the world it's, yeah. co it's commodity yeah. so the pyramids are a commodity and the desecration of it is insane it's, it's a circus today yeah. You go there and you see it's pure Muslims because tourism from other parts of the world now is next to nil. Mm. The, the economy of Giza and Luxor, 80% of the economy is tourist economy. So since the revolution, the economy like, is shot. It's like Jerusalem. But this is, still, this is still what's feeding the people, though. This is the crazy thing. It's the Pharaonics that are still feeding the people. Yeah. So, and you see these Muslims who are going to this site that they do not respect as a holy site because it's against the religion, same as Christians, it's against the religion, they don't know what this is, but it's, obviously it's not Christian, it's not Muslim, it's before them, it's misunderstood, but it's, it's a tribute to, in their eyes, gods that, um, that don't exist, can yeah. exist, yeah. and yet you see these Muslims at the pyramids defending something that they don't respect because of the money that's involved, they'll, yeah, they'll yeah, defend yeah. it and they'll hold yeah. these sites, and at the same time, when you hear the call to prayer go out, no one stops to pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what is this, what is this that's being defended? Secularism amongst the Arabs, <laughs> just like secularism amongst Christians. Yes. Yeah. So, so when you're speaking tonight, it's just the feeling of the significance of people getting that Christianity 
came with the colonizer, the demon colonizer who came in and killed the people and enslaved the people and took the land and continue to this day, right. even though England doesn't officially own that quarter of the world's landmass officially right. as, a, right. as a colonial force, right. it still does. It still dominates. Well, it's those evident. lands in terms of the resources, but the minds, when we brought in Christianity and yeah. said your way is wrong, is demonic, and we are replacing it with the right way, yeah. that that has carried on for centuries, and it looks like there's no end in sight. I just say they don't, they don't have to be present, you know, what God No, we say everybody celebrating Christmas, uh, and they don't understand it has nothing to do with them. Mm-hmm. It has something to do with whosoever was in power at the time when they were slaves. And now people behaving like it's for them thing. You know, it's terrible. But well, it's, well, as you point out, too, Christmas has no ba- there's no there's no spiritual reality to Christmas. No, Even Santa in the Claus, myth, Santa Jesus Claus. wasn't born in the winter time. No. The myth, it, it holds it holds no meaning. We've replaced so. Even with, it, it just shows you the hypocrisy. The religion, the way that it celebrates its so-called holy days mm. are with chocolate and bunnies and, and, uh, who, and this Santa man in the red suit who comes down with the flying. It, it's, it shows you the hypocrisy. Uh, what those holy days are today is commodities. It's sales. Mm. It's economy. Just as the religion came in to control, to control these these lands throughout the world for the commodification of the people and the land. Yes. You can see it. You see it in the holy days. What are these holy days? How are they celebrated? Yeah, you control the land, you control the people. If you control the land, you control the people. Yeah, and you control the mind forever with the religion. Yes, definitely. And the, and the white man has done a number on the people of the world, bringing this religion and telling them. And, and the, the sad thing is that the hypnotic the hypnotic repetition yeah. of the stories of the Bible, people don't see it. They can't see for what it is. They don't see the voodoo in the Bible, first of all, as you're calling out. You know, they don't see that when Moses throws down the staff and it turns into a snake, what is that? Yeah. When Samson's locks are cut, he loses his strength, what is that? That's voodoo. Yeah. So yeah. the Bible is full. When Jesus uh, mixes his saliva with the mud, puts it on the blind man's eyes, he can see, what is that? That's voodoo. Yeah. 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 But we take so the white man has demonized everything, everything of value in Africa has either been claimed as if Egypt is not Africa anyway, because there's something there that goes back before Egypt that's a mystery, you know, that goes back before Europe, that's yeah. a mystery. Yeah. So Europe even claims that, takes Egypt out of Africa, makes Egypt into a white thing where Elizabeth Taylor can play Cleopatra. So what we like of it, we take and we claim, and the contradictions in it we ignore. Yeah. And then we bring in Christianity... So the white man is God, and that will perpetually keep the people in bondage and keep the thing going forever. Is there an end to it? There must be an end to it. Good must overcome. That is what we always say. And we really, we're not superstitious about good, but we know that good must overcome. Well, if good is to overcome, it means that people have to heed the voice and hear and really hear the call that you're putting out. And what you're doing as a watchman for the people, it's it's to be it's to be praised and prized yeah, give, yeah. Thanks. give thanks thank, thank right, you well, yell up Abba Zero I know I'm there I know I'm good all I listen beside you to an Agua like him not there but yell him up still I, I will I will as soon as I see him I will yeah. I will pass that on so give thanks Muta give thanks I yeah, yeah. hello yeah bless him. yes Muta good night good night I hear you there if I want a me pen. Me a pen what? Cemetery or me a pen, Clarin? Uh, me a pen, Clarin. Oh, man. because your voice sounds like you wake up, man. <laughs> yes, sir, I was sleeping. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, my mother, I'm 14 year old. She's a student at Central High School. Mm. And she's sick with a disease called poliosis. Poliosis? Yes, sir. Okay. And I have promoted a show in a meeting, an old police station, this Saturday. Um, it kind of late to the promoting, but... Yeah, it's late it, for sure. It's late, man. Yes, I was. I still have tried. Mm, okay. I work hard and push it to this. So, so why are you having to get forget money for, your, for, for help her? Yes, I have over a million for the mm. surgery. So what kind of show you keep? 
success with it that you can help. Yes, sir. All right. I just have to look at the more read of promotion from there. Yeah, but you see... Yeah, yeah, but them now... Oh, you're you charged for going? Yes, sir. And we should tell yeah, us yeah, that yeah, the night event a fine idea. Yeah, but we can't so promote it. Dancers and... No, you know what I said? No, we can't promote it that way that if you have a charge for going in, I don't know what I They don't allow you to do that. When me do it so now, it's like, me just do it because I'm here do it. But if you talk about it in the day you now, you know them where there is not, it's not something with them allow. You understand? Yes, you should have contact the radio station and tell them, say, you want some little sponsorship from them. If you can't really get this evil five other promo for them. We should have called the radio station before. Next, Well, I don't know if next time, but that is how it do. You know, just call the program people them and say, well, you know, you, you don't have the money, but you have to do this thing of your help your relative, and you need to get it even two little odd or three little odd, all right? Yes, sir. It's the same number when I call the iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to call that a day. All right. Or maybe you can call the next, next program and push it in again. I don't know. Nothing. And I can call it tomorrow, too. Yeah, you can call me tomorrow. Maybe should I call Elise and call what you name in the morning too. What's your name? Yes, Renee. Sir. Call Renee in the morning. I see him number, I get Elise when I Yeah, man, the same him. number, the same number, yeah, the same number. All right? All right. Yeah. Yeah, bless it. I would have to be on your talk then. Uh, I'm a king, man. Okay, all right. Yeah, are Yes, sir. Yeah. Here, here, Muta. Yeah, bless him. Yes, yes, we're virgin. Mm. Yeah, and the X6 bird, the, I, I, I steal the pan, you know? Mm. Look here, me have got a little intelligence, the man never the pan here, Elan, brother. Yeah, but them, I'm not intelligence, that man. No, what is, them news are some long time news. You just hear that? Well, how do you hear me? I hear that. Say, man, nobody panier. Yeah, but that sound like Columbus, you know. <laughs> all right, all right. I will let people hear that, but that's not the same never there. But I will let people hear that still. Okay, okay. Mm. So that you call for? Right. Huh? How good that you call for? Yeah, man, I only had that me a call for. All right, all right sir. You know? Yeah, all right. Give thanks. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. Yes, King, blessed be. Well, okay, long time you know you're from your man. What are you man? Why me I try to survive among the Philistines, them? Yeah, well, enough, enough, eh. Hey. You're supposed to have enough things up there for me now. Enough people call me to come up like it, you know. <laughs> Why are you full of drama? I big celebrities, you. big celebrities. <laughs> big celebrities, <laughs> me give you number, you know, some hear big me? celebrities. Hear you hear me, hear me, King? Yeah. Um, there's three, three things in life, is it? Yeah. I saw always those three things always be the key to the Almighty Creator's love, care, and sharing. All right, sir. Those three things make people life comfortable and better. Mm-hmm. If you know that so many people throughout the world, because we're that radio station, and various other radio stations overseas, Caribbean Island, do hear a clip of me. Mm. I just went to Clarence and I was just teaching some people bridging about some herbs. Mm. And somebody just taped by accident and I didn't even know that. I sent it out to the world. Mm. And more time, let me tell you something, Bridgen. There's a radio station there, where that in New York with DJ Ellie mm. and Marcus and the Bridgen. Let me tell you something, Bridgen. The guy, the wisdom that the people them love and the way people related to naturality. 
I wish every Jamaican people could just accept themselves for who they are. Mm. Don't be nobody here. Yeah. Not turn nothing. Mm. Not turn no Rasta, not turn no Christian, not turn nothing. Mm. Just be who you are. Because mm. when you be who you are, that's the best thing of life. Yeah, eh? yeah. And brethren, there's so many things that going on in, right now in the country. Yeah. Right now, I'm a merchant holiday, which is then called Christmas. And poor people save up all them little chop hands and wait for this special day if they done it and trust this and trust that and January no hard month and then go through hardship and be a burden. So, no one the people them to get wise and understand that the king of creation never born on the 25th of December. I lie them and tell. Because in the Hebrew month, December is called Tibet, which is the 10th month. Eh? So, I don't know how they get December to be the last month of the year, which is 13 months really, um, is the calendar year. So the brainwash education, everybody are fussy and everybody are this and everybody are that. And uh, you know, my people them, who not have to get wise, a civilized time now. This is not about story. This is reality. The story business done. You see what I'm going? It's all like we are telling about China. A peer things of China do I, I sell human body parts to Burger King and all those places, you know. People are use I use plastic rice, egg, hand kind of thing. You got man shoes, you fake the clock and make it in a China. And bring it come to Jamaica and sell it for thousands of Jamaican dollars. But through the people them now overstand their language and their culture and their roots, Jamaican people just turn away and start support. Instead of support their own, they support other people country that taking disadvantage of them and destroying their own health. When I come, when I see their disadvantage, when I say take place in a Jamaica, they sell out the land, most of the land we given to Chinese people, Jamaican who born here. Do we even have a bank? A little no, 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 government. No, 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 Jamaican government do that, man. Then no, that's what we discover. And that is evilness. No, that is totally that. evilness to the citizen them that born in this country, Mota. Them guys who want to clear a little land to build up a little bambi wall. But China get too much queer land just to build a road and then you have to pay over thousands of dollars for travel upon the same road when they already get land. Long them bringing all kind of things and then the, the people them are talking about no the evidence and they and the this. How oh, you can sit down and say that? You know, read, go up on the computer and type in the food them that China made. A pure chemical and poison that destroy the human being health system, which is your immune system, your nerves, and cause complication. There's no more cancer in the human being body from ever since until now because of the food that they eat. The people can grow certain food in a even mess. Big mess. Certain fish were coming at the island and certain food not to come here. Because the people are not doing research and studying motor. Here yeah, King Marcus Gavis, eh? When you want to talk about our own people, because we don't call people black, because the Almighty not created no black people. He created one race, the human race. But King Marcus Gavis, eh? When you want high things, or when you want people not know the truth, put it in our book. Because our people don't take time out to do research and search to do and find things. Then go by hearsay. Hearsay a story. You have to go by reality, facts. You can't tell me say you believe in God. You have to know about the Almighty. Because the world is the Almighty and the Almighty is the world. That's number one. Number two, the things that I see happen in my country right now at Christmas, I come and scan to them. When you look in a community, in a city, capital city, when you look in a certain road, here past the world, when you look in the countryside, the road needs to leave us. The road them need to fix and there are so many patrols and so many things. And they said, people now have no job. The government and the House of Parliament. This is me speaking to you all. I'm wanting to know, listen and listen carefully. You see, all of the money we have to do for this is a waste time. I put tar, just a um, little tar and mall in the road. Tap waste the money and got the seaside, get the sea stone and the river stone. Grind them and use them to fix the road. Because as rain fall, the mall come out, and it broke away the road. Muta, I see a road broke in St. Mary and St. Thomas the other way there. Half a little bit of rain. It was terrible. Because of how these people wasting tax people money and fixing the road with mall. Mall can't fix the road. Mall can't fix the road. You know, King, I just wasting money. The people I mean, in the country are wasting money. And I do so many crops instead of trying to help the citizens in them to have better salary, better jobs, and give them skill. Build up with skill center in every school. As long as it's near my school, put skill center. Make the woman then learn to sew. Make the woman then learn to do baking, home economic. Make them learn something. The male them, make them learn something. You can't go to school so have 10 subjects, 20 degrees, and you can't get a job. You need skill. When you have a skill, you can be able to help yourself, help your family, and help others that need your skill. 
It is a simple one, two, three. Life is not about nothing about religion. Religion is confusion and separation. Life is about love, truth, equal rights, and justice for all human beings. Yeah, man. Give thanks, Bridget. Love is life and life is brethren. Take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah man. I see. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, what about Muta? Bless him, man. Boy, since last week, last week, oh, well, last week, Saturday, mm. to, 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 to yesterday, Mm. A poor domestic dispute, you know. Well, that poor woman and killing her. Me hear about it all done here, so too. Yeah. Yeah, do, I mean, the bridging, the bridging who work with me here so sometime. I want to have a relative, the daughter, I want to have a relative. Yeah, but the kind of weakness are going on in the country, man. May I tell you? But well, then a gunman, a domestic dispute. I can't. But I kill a kill woman. Yeah. A dead yard, we live in a man. What may I tell you, boy? Dead yard. In another incident, the government tell them to read the supermarket, them, check if they have plastic rights, and I tell them. You can't read people, and I tell them, man. You can't go take your thing and go hide, man. But not wrong with that. That joke business, a joke business, because we are telling them for a long time, man. Yeah, let me hear you a long time with it. Then now, uh, listen to me, and now, the ass gone through the gate, and more, and the only that they know, they might make certain things done, yeah, so. I tell them that, you know, it's another thing I'm going to tell them now, them go that over what. Believe me, you know. Yeah. Only by the things them where we're going to find out is not important. It's important, you know. It makes us up. Huh? Yeah. You ever see? You ever see the plastic rice, Mister Muta? You may ever see the plastic rice? Yes. Yeah. No, I'm going to see in a picture. Oh. I'm going to see people use to show you what it is and how it why it's not rice. Yeah. We're not on with the rice. I'm with the rice. I'm with the rice. You think I'm with the rice? A whole heap of things. Me as me as I cabbage too. Look at you know, you say Jamaica have if going as well as you going as supermarket or mark, you say the garlic come from Jamaica again. Uh-uh. Which part of the garlic are come from? International foreign. Which international? China. Which, yeah, but China foreign too. No, but no, you have to be specific. A specific or international check. Yeah. F- foreign can be, be be America too, or Thai two, Thai three, or Thai four. Yeah. At China. The garlic where we are used come from. How yeah. the hell Jamaica full up a pure garlic will come from China? How that work? How that possible? How that possible? In the market, you go. In yeah. the supermarket, you go. On the roadside where people are sell food. A Chinese garlic come from China. Yeah. How that possible? So we better check it. Better yeah. check it and stop going like you know, and kill the messenger. And don't listen to the message. But up till now, them say they're not finding any plastic Watch rice. Watch out, man. You know where they're going to find it? They're going to find it when some people are sick in the hospital a, a year from now. Yeah. And them can't figure it out. And some guy will come tell them, say, you know, say, this is this plastic way. Right? Just like the fish, them, not the water, don't have a thing, you know. Where all of the plastic back them go down and see. Yeah. And the fish, them, yam the plastic. Yeah. They come back in at them plate. Oh. They come back in your plate on a Sunday evening. I tell you, I tell them things that so regular now that I come like parrot to rat But But a long time you hear you talk about the plastic rice and, and the politician in our year. Them hear me about you know, it's just a ranting, rasta man, a rant on the radio. And when they see it on TV, I know them are just frightened. So it come out and them face. Is is a ranting rasta man up on the radio. That is all it is. Is a rasta man where just come up on the radio and I cuss everything. Yeah. But when we give the message, we're not talking something highfalutin. We know what to say. Not a conspiracy theory. When we tell them about plastic rice, I come through Thai, not um, Vietnam, where the Chinese they make the plastic rice, mix it with the with the, with the ordinary rice. Yeah. We didn't know about when we are picking you know, out Guyana rice, you know. Yeah. And we used to plant our own rice. You understand? Yes, yes, Mutu. So right now, what we have now is that we don't have no rice thing on here, so now. The Chinese, them make deal, free trade business are going on here, so now. So anything goes. Them have more products to bring in at the island. We don't have none to carry out to them. And we are going to get neck. Watch, watch, watch. Go. Look, you know, the people, them going there and plastic rice and donkey. Yeah. For them, for them, Christmas. That is what going to happen. <laughs> Plastic rice and donkey. Yes, because you own a money. They have dead yard with a money, you know. Yeah. You know, long we are tell them that we have it from video, you know. Dead yard with a money where the Chinese them are killing donkey them and 
So I dump them bone and all them something around there, you know. Oh, we know that. That's not, we not, we not say that you want to make problem. Yeah. Or something will happen. Yeah, so when we talk them things, you know, people believe they have trouble with our look, but it's a serious thing. And when I tell them, say, you see me play the tune about Chinese speaking, I call my daddy. <laughs> 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 Chinese picnic, you see, I would put Chinese picnic around the place, and I, you think a Chinese, China woman, I got the picnic them? Not no China woman, I'm ghetto woman, woman. where you talk about ghetto, a ghetto woman, them, watch. But yeah. things get so bad for them, that is only the China man who just come from China now, where Guan likes them have enough things, and them no better off than them when they are China, but them better off than them when they are so. Yeah. You understand? It's a terrible thing anyway. We're going to watch it still. Yeah, man. Take care, Muta. Bless you, man. The show. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Long time you know you're from your door. Eh? A long time you know you're your call. Yeah, sometimes the program. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, have to listen. You don't have to listen. You don't have to listen. All right. To get thanks. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Love me, brother. Yeah. Yeah, man. I see your thing. Takura. Watch yourself, you know, with them Chinese things, you know. Okay. Watch out. Watch out now. Most of the things you see in the market, whether at dry goods, the dry goods that we are dealing with, you know, clothes and them things, they are made in China, so clothes, mass production. People have them and go like some high fashion thing. They just take that fashion and just carry it China and just make millions of them and send it back come here. So, I mean, I say colonization is not just take where you land, you know. It's not just take where you land, you know. But as, as a matter of fact, it make colonize the challenge in a way, you know, where you give them your land and feed so you have to do something good. <laughs> them both is slave there. We're in a parliament there. Them feed to them and do something good. Buy a trade land. Or you cannot trade land with foreigners. Or you cannot trade your land with foreigners. It can't go so. It can't go so. The land is for the people of the country. That is what it is all about. The land is for the people of the country. Look on Chinese government. You say nobody will not look Chinese then after them government. Look on them government. Look on the people that were in high places in a China. You say anybody will look like you in a them government there? Or in a them company there? Go on, man. Things are joke we make when we are talking. This is the cutting edge. Yes, yeah. Yeah, motor. Yeah, blessed man. Yeah, blessed. One love, peace, and love, isn't it? Aye. Second time for your program. Mm. Yeah, but you see the thing where you, you see the thing where you talk about a while ago with the fish and the plastic. Mm. You know, I say, me there one night on the block, um, I watch a documentary thing, same way where I see them thing that I talk about. Wow, well, about the plastic in the fish, them? Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the fish in the plastic bottle. The, the cover. Yeah, then that, no, co then not a common sense that you know, Bridget. A common no, but, sense yeah, that. But I may say, I may say, me never know. No, but because I show you, say, if you follow the ecological imbalance, right, it's common sense. You dump things in the, 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 the gully, buckle anything. It will go out of the sea. Every, every gully goes to the sea. When yeah. it reaches the sea, the fish them might eat it. The fisherman go to catch back the fish them. You go buy back the fish. The CMC effects napkin where you are say you are scan and everything. They come back to your, point, your dinner table. You are eat CFX. Where woman don't throw away. You are eat plastic back where woman. Where people don't, I mean, it's it, it terrible. You see, you see, too, we can't remember the, 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 the island because you see, the island of some woolly per bird where I eat the same plastic cover. Them. Yeah, yeah. You see me? Yeah, man. So, and I, I eat the bird them. Yeah. Hundreds, thousands of thousands birds. Thousands of birds. Yeah, man. And a lot of guys in Jamaica now. Thousands and, of people like, watch out. I know people are dead in a Jamaica now from certain things where we go able to identify it, that it, you know. Because yeah. people are going to the hospital you now and the doctor can't tell you what's wrong with them, you know. You know why the doctor can't tell you what's wrong with them? Because some new sickness will take the people them from the things that we are going at, so now we're never the used to. So when I'm going to say, you know, when I'm going to say, boy, right now, he can't identify nobody with, with sick because they eat plastic rice. You're not going to see that now. You're not going to see that now. You know, see, maybe I just, I just like how people never didn't realize that the chick meal never get so terrible. You're not going to see that until all next year, them time, yeah. You hear so some people are getting sick, and you wonder what the hell is happening. And you realize, right, till you know, say something down the line, and you have to be really scientific to realize eh, it's a repercussion of going inside the burger, them, and the thing, them, where people are, have all sorts of sickness, and now.
10 years ago, it takes 10 years for them things that develop in some human being. Feet now become a problem. problem. So, what if a disease now is the people have? I don't, yes, they them catch a disease, you know. At 10 years, 20 years ago, him have that disease there, and I'm going to build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. And him never know, said that. And now it just catch him half, yeah, the whole away. The whole away get caught with it. The whole yeah, away get caught with it. I, I, I really tell man, because even, <coughs> sorry, the, 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 the scientist brother we attack, he must say, you know, I'm, I'm right now, you know. And I must say, I'll five, six series. He don't get lying. That may I show you. And that may I show you. Is it me? But anyway, um, the brother we call, the brother we call early on, before the, before the brother we talk a while ago. Mm. Don't like at the bush doctor, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I say? Me and I want to group with my school friend them, and me don't know how they get steam spice now. I talk about all kind of spice and herbs and all kind of, yeah, 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 all yeah. kind of something yeah. I'm not yeah. talking about. So, one of my friends from Canada, show up me same time, car when, when, when the vice not send that group, mm. I tell him, they don't want to tell me all the other money I talk about motor. See, and he brother said, if I have contact to him, I said, boy, the only thing I can get contact with is I call motor show at night. You see me? So, I want to get the number for the youth. I know how they go. Do call the operator and see if she has the number around there. Call back the operator, yeah? So, if you just end up and what? Yeah, and call back the operator, yes. What man name? King Yashua. King Yashua? Yeah, King Yashua, I'm calling himself. All right, I'm going to call him. All right, thanks, yeah. Yeah, man, all right. Yeah. All right, look, we're now getting prepared for that tune. Yes, he is. He is. He is, Musa. Blessed man. <laughs> yard label man, reggae this. Reggae what? Reggae. The yard label man. Okay. Yes. Well, one reason we do it within black and white. Black man. You are black people and you are white people. And where I man, I say, when we say reggae, reggae is black, black culture. And when we look at the we look at the white man, the, the, the white culture, you know, the white culture is reading, you know, in a motor. The first thing you try to get is to teach you to read from your tree. Then say for God's who go learn to read. And that's with that's where the white man are a a a good on that white in a black man world, you know. A blackness, you know. Blackness and you know, another scholar skin, you know, blackness a culture, you know. You see? And through them teaching people to read, or what they teach people to read, the people are learn alpha. And that's where and, 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 and that's where the black power are weak in. You see? Because it is where they teach you to read, I got the food. But you see. The children learn, 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 and then then deceive you. And they say deceive you go on, you know. And this go at church business. They don't talk about God church. Johnny ain't seen a man for God church, man. Just a man to keep in church, and that is the church. Who are God church, you know? A opposition. You see? Because every man is a church in the sight of the most high, you know? And that's why reggae music comes to tell you, say, you are now. Reggae, a black culture. Reggae, you know, and something where no one reads, you know? Reggae is a black culture where I just. I just, I just reggae. You know, see, I got me in blackness, you know. And all the years I talk about white and black. Uh, it's an inner man thing that in a motor. Inner man, you're born, you're born from creation. When, when you're just born, you never read. And Babylon say, come with me teacher if you read. You know, see, that's why I met school and send the people to go, you know, have the children, them, and, and Overture the black race, you can see it. No, then say if you're white, it's all right, and if you're brown, you stick around, if you're black, you have to steer back. And that's where the problem is. Because the black man, the black man always die back, and find out can't read, it's like, say, then call you brown, and what is you for read? The white race. You see what I say? And then now, I man who is reggae. Then now I play a fly music, you know. Because fly music come to burn them. 
You know, I'm going to play for the music, you know. All right, hold on, hold on. What is your music now? Because I don't know your, I don't know your music. Either. All right. I know your music is, it depends on the yard label, it is orange. So, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Why, why, can we not play your music? So tell me why we not play your music. Come in, I, I, don't, I don't know why, why, me why not have I don't your music. play your music. No, know? so tell me why you say them not play your music. Tell me why you think them not play your music. I never hear it play. And no, I, and I, and I, I so much no, happy. No, hold on, hold on, man. Let me ask yeah. you a while ago. Let me ask you a while ago. You say why? Say your music not play. Yeah, you say your music not play because so me ask you know why you think your music not play. Then yeah, that's why I take it out. I, I, I say I don't like to know why you not play neither because that is the music we you play. I, 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 I mean reggae music, me black music. So are you so you not hear no reggae play on none of the radio station then? No, sir. I'm Mr. Brown music, me and Mr. White. Oh, you know you. Reggae music I play. You know you're no reggae music. No, I'm in a black music, and a black man music. If you want to know who black, black, black uh, regular music, you have to interview the, the, the artists that we are playing. Where the music are playing, then read, or they not read. I will not read a reggae, man. Like, who, all right, so which, which, who you know when I read a reggae? Tell me, who you know when I read? Only I, man, can tell you, say, I know, say. Uh, you in, are in the only, so, uh, Bob Marley never read, you know? Bob Marley can read, man. No, man. Bridget, Bob Marley can read, man. Yeah, listen to what I say. Bob Marley yeah. can read. Oh, man, reading at teeth, you know. You, you, so Bob Marley at teeth, then? Reading. So, reading. When a man teaches a reading at teeth, you know. Yo, 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 you know, you're know, you going to turn, you know, turn the thing into some fool, fool talk, you know, you know. No, me man. Say, me, you know what I say? Bob yeah. Marley can read. No, sir. Bob Marley. All right, Bob we don't Marley. talk. We don't talk. We don't talk. I don't mean, know where I said it now. You're gone straight out. You're like you had smoked some bad ganja in the bush there. You know, Pino Wally. Go talk to Pino Wally, Bridget. You understand? I don't mean, understand how you gone to twist up the thing that's on now. But, 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 are you are the only one I reggae because you can't read. <laughs> Takura. Takura, God. Takura. The man say, you don't read, you don't read because you can't read. And the body way, tune a play from the radio. The reason why I'm tune a play from the radio is because he can't read. And that's not reggae. You know, Peter Tash can't read. As a matter of fact, most artists will be no. <laughs> play for it. Who do I know? Say, who don't reggae, you know? I call him to the man there. Who don't know reggae because he can't read. Who don't have a problem if he can't read. Okay, yeah. Anyone here? Oh, him am on it still. Right, dude. I'm going to talk by himself. I'm going to tune into him and say that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Bridget, you don't come, you know, come out by the phone. You still have on the phone, Yes, I'm going to I just got to say, you know, because reggae are burning, you know, yeah. and flames, you see? So, for reggae speak, for the right speak, I just tell you I'm going to get it. Peter Tosh, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you like, you like Peter Tosh? Peter Tosh. Yeah. You're Peter Tosh, eh? No, 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 I'm sure you know them come out. Them are what they're saying. Yes, let's say goodnight, Mota. Bless him, man. Long time listener, first time caller. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, the brother that sound like him, he needs some of the plastic rice, too, man. No, I'm so hard, Mota. No. We are the whole other, whole other, whole other, whole other. <laughs> oh, you know, so everybody eat plastic rice, that's what they've got. Tell me something. No, me, me, just, me just ask you. Yeah, ask and you that. And the plastic rice. Because me do that thing, that's some bad guy, drive and smoke out of the bush. No, we don't want to put no stigma to the bad guy, because we have a Negril one here. No, I don't Negril, no, I don't Negril. I don't know, Negril, 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 I don't know, 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 I don't yeah, man, the synthetic herb. Mix up. Yeah, man, yeah. mix up, mix up, man. May I tell you? And let me hear yeah. the pinot all around. 
the peanut wall in them make more sense to me than him. Yeah. You never hear the peanut wall in them, Rony. You never hear the peanut wall in them. Now, who is that? We have a question for you. Yeah. I watched a movie years ago in the late 90s. Someone introduced me to the movie. Mm. Name Sankofa. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's I mean, a line in the movie where you say, one day the snake is going to eat one of the frog belly. The snake shall have what in the frog. Yeah, what, 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 what do you mean by that? Uh, you tell me what you think it means. I never think about it. You're puzzle, man. I try to figure it out and it's puzzling well, you know, say, You know, say, I want to give you one more. I want to give you homework, you know. Because it's yeah. possible, but you never really sci-fi it out. You never sit down and sci-fi it out. Well, you know, say, true, you know. You know, 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 you this is part of what you see in the movie and where you hear me say no. You call me back and then no, if you if you're wrong, I'm gonna say you're wrong, I'm gonna tell you this well. Because I'm trying to make you just get off, so just go tell you the answer so. And it's a one, mystery. One day the oppressed will rise up. <laughs> no, you be say go, go sit down and figure it out and come I'm back. You're kinda of warm still. You kinda of warm. All right. And next thing I want to know. Mm. Just before I go. It's before all of these things in Jamaica, you have to have a thing called accountability. Mm. Even amongst the member of parliament, all of these government officials, mm. we have to have a firing squad where we put some of them in front of to let them know that it's serious, a time for them to start playing with redemption, a time for them to start playing with poor people's life, and rich people's life too, because life is life on our world. Because yes, after a while, Jamaica will be the Republic of Jamaica and China. We have to learn Mandarin after a while. If you, uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. After a while, you better start learning now. <laughs> you better right. start learning now. You're to the truth. Hey, you ever go to um, Quebec yet? No. All right. You see certain places in our Montreal, certain part of Montreal. We can tell yeah. you them having you see when them, You see when them say, like, for instance, exit? Yeah. You have to put the French word to you see, oh, every okay. road where you see, or every building where you see, you see, if you have an English word there, you have to put a French word there. When well, you see, all the thing I go right now in Jamaica, you see, a little more when you say, you have to go to Ocherios, and you see the sign mark this way to Ocherios, you have to see the Chinese word underneath it. I told, man. And yeah. also, the fertilizer, what do I use when the sugar cane and the sugar factory, them, what mm. them have to find and function out of that? That fertilizer kill the slide slowly. Well, I want to tell you something. <laughs> Look, <laughs> yeah, man, this no. is fuck we are telling you. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. It's it hard to say, but sometimes when you say something, I know say something not not happen. You say, why? I always say something could have happened them see what you say. The plastic writer, right now. When I say, I just have said to you, I just have said, after... After you have struggled so long and the people them can't wake up, them need something for wake them up. And one of the something we can wake them up is so, one of the bad things where you tell them shall go happen, happen, and then now them will wake up. So me just I say that. Thanks very much, Moda, for your time, sir. Yeah, yeah man. I'm, say, man. I'm a full jar of the news to cover this strong end. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, which part you did then? Well, sir, maybe I need a grill man up the beach, man. All right, sir. All right, give thanks. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, bless it. Oh, go on. Uh, cutting edge. See. Uh, go on and touch on the way I talked about liquor earlier on still with, between like the magic and... The food one, yeah. the will be on them something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. See. All right. You have a group of people them call the, the Gnostic. All right. Um, so, some Asians are people them still, you know. But Gnostic in a in a Greek mean um, um, knowledge, and in a and in a Latin it mean knowings. So I said the Gnostic is a group of people where we know the know things. So the Gnostics say, so them knowings come through them. In, 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 uh, the word of one call 
intuition, right? It not come from out of book or oh, from experience. Uh, yeah, yes, to to knowing themselves. Yeah, yeah, come from experience, man. Right. Say, yeah. But trust me, them have a whole different uh, uh, knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. 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 All right. According to the Gnostic, the Gnostic say we govern by some things that we call our chance. Right. And these entities feed upon with negative energy. Mm. So therefore, things like our uh, blood sacrifice and other things we are playing in other in other world today still, you know, is a form of the negative energy where we are play up from we still about now. Right. Um the NAS we we we, we, we are learning about the, the, the archons again going back to some material with a Virgin name where they call Jandi. Jandi was the fear was was Queen Elizabeth uh, magician. And whenever time them have issues like land issues or stuff like that, um for deal with Queen Elizabeth would have consulted John D and John D would have consulted the archons and the archons can give him information on how to deal with deal with um the land issues or whatever issues them would have want to deal with also to. Alright, we'll go back down in Babylon also to and we see some research where we're gonna talk about the the, the, the the um the kings the kings of Babylon. Um, specifically, let me not talk about the, the, the Kabbalah, that those were the first kings who were given the, the knowledge of the Kabbalah. And it's, we're saying those are some of the first kings who were, 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 were able to um, practice um, blood sacrifice. And even today, blood sacrifice is still practicing through various organizations and religious groups and secret societies and, um, and so forth. All right, so it also said that blood sacrifice come in a in a in a in a many forms, such as like um, um the killings then we are going famine, disease, and sickness. You know, necessarily have to come through. Like you know, you get somebody, you burn them at the altar, you burn them at the stake, or you cut or part of them, or what it can. It come through those thoughts. So hence. The, the negativity were up in the in the in the, the society are because of the arsenic energy. It is also said that blood sacrifice used to generate the energy and generate the fear. Fear generate the energy because in other words, these entities rule they have to be a large amount of fear. You hear about war, you hear about people constantly fear. They must fear about the economy, they must fear about what will happen in their life. Um, fear fear rule the entire world. Yeah, yeah, me. Hey, Hello? Virgin, me are to you know. We don't to make it talk. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. So now, as we say now, we go one by by the archons still. Okay. Um, we we, we don't see some also research where we see um groups like the Rothschilds, where them say like peer people for like for tour the islands and half load book and voodooism. And and um Obia, but the farm where them preach is the farm of Obia where them preach is of um uh, where them later, the books that them live off in other islands and so forth is 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 a is a more evil thing them that them practice so like them with a cut off all it, cut off gold or uh, what coat it or uh, whatever it them want shop off the spring blood. Guys I notice like in a in a certain part of Jamaica where most people practice is like when them uh, like build a new house or a new building then we're a cut off a folded or a goat or whatever. Yeah, but like I coming out most indigenous you see when I try to explain to the reason in a while ago is that most indigenous cultures have that kind of ritual, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was given to us by Europeans, you know. What is it? Mm-hmm. What, what I was trying to bring across is to say that when them do it, it's a gift from God that allow them to do it. When we do it, it's a gift from the devil that allow it to do it. But in yeah. all indigenous cultures, you have blood sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that is true. But me, that specifically, top, yeah, that, that is true still. That, that, I, I agree with you still, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, in our indigenous culture, yeah, all that's true still. But the farm that we learn, uh, the where, where we are practicing here, so now, where you see them people that are the, the butcher blood, is a negative energy. And those energy, um, 
put in place to ensure say, a large percent of the population remain in a suffering and poverty and deprivation and all of those things, right? So, um, no, explain, yes. explain the part to me. No, we said it, it was what what was put there to keep us in degradation. What what you say was put there? No, like like the, the, the blood sacrifice. Like when I said, like when the people them are doing the the, the magic. Um, yeah, yeah, but me like, I tell you, say the blood sacrifice was not put there by oppressors, because most indigenous cultures practice blood sacrifice. I, void, I, 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 void, I, yeah, of, you know, void of colonialism, void of imperialism. Most indigenous cultures have blood sacrifice, whether human I, or animal. Yeah, I, I am not disputing that. But mm. me, I'm saying, yeah, I'm not disputing that. But me, I said, those things, if, if you look uh, like within the, 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 the countries where, where like Jamaica, then where, 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 where them things they would have said. Yeah, yeah, the blood like sacrifice. The Obia, yeah, 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 like yeah. the Obia, like the Obia. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's a lot. 90% of the people that must suffer. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's superstition. Yeah, and not only that, because people are just not have the own the in, the right to have information for govern themselves. No, you know, you know. all right, all right. Uh, what I also said, if you didn't listen to me careful when I talk about, you know, say most of those indigenous rituals is based upon of a superstition. Yes. See? So you have to, you have to go past the superstition nature of it now and be a twenty first century person for sure. Say. All of those things, it's just symbolism. It don't have nothing to do with the practicality of nature and life. More than say you're using this as a symbol. You don't yeah, need that symbol to perpetuate this ritual of cutting off chicken neck and killing people as sacrifice and them. So you don't need that. No, no, but, but what we have to know, those things, because of the arch, because of the archons where we govern by according to the Gnostic still, as we have to right? Where, 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 where you see the, 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 the negativeness we are going in the community and the holy mm. killings are all over the world, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those type of sacrifice help to generate those things. Negativity. Yeah, yeah the negative of course, energy. Of course. Because, because when you go up on the road, almost every man I tell you, saying, want to kill a man right now, to all the anger with them on feel and, and the frustration yeah, yeah. with them on face right now still. So uh, in other terms, I'm just that still, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because, because when you really dive down, you know, some of the occult knowledge them still and, and the esoteric knowledge them still. Yes, it's a boy, there's a whole heap of things that is there. That 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 wow! It 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 shock you, you know. It it mind it mind blowing still. We see a better also name like uh, Manly P R. Manly P R was a was a thirty three degree mystery. Yeah, no, I no find book me read. No find book me have. Ah, uh, and if you go up on YouTube, then when you see, and yeah. then man, the man they have a whole heap of knowledge still, and then when I talk about the occult world and the the, the, the esoteric world, and uh, the man they go. D. Lawrence too. D. Lawrence talk about no fight too. Right, right. Mm -hmm. See, and also too, if you, you have an ex virgin who, in same was a Satan still named Alisa Crowley still, he was one of the the, the fearless, feared magicians still in other in other. Yeah. Nineteen in, in, in the nineteenth century, still right. Yeah. The money of holy power, come holy power books in terms of like the occult holy power because everything, literally, they are fingertips now. Still, I mean, the, 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 the information is so vast and it's so wide still. But all right, you see, you see, man, and the man, and the Lawrence and them people, you know. You see, when you started, when you look at what them say. You get the feeling, say, them also was too prestigious, you know, but them are explaining it in a very intellectual way. So as to make it even look more realer than the Obia man where they are sent to us. All right. <laughs> which really and truly, uh, which, right. Really, no, which really and truly, are the Obia man from sent to us, him get it from. But him can right. develop it now into a so-called science to make it look more precise and more, you know, all right, we're not going to cut off the man here. We're going to cut off him head instead. Yeah, but, but them, them have deep, like, like, Alistair Crowley have deep, and, and, man, all right, man, the PR is a man specifically states, so like, you know, people who are careful, all them dive down, you know, the occult, yeah. occult, um, 
Um, them man that even man that peel peel even look out against spring. Them man that's careful all your prayer car. You don't know where you can conjure up. Where you can conjure up. Yeah, right, where you can conjure up. Yeah, but not the same thing with the Kabbalism. Kabbalism too, you know, they say the same thing. I mean, what may I say is that man, I tell you, all right, for instance, the Bible was intended for normal people like me and you to read it, you know. No. Yeah, so, I'm I, I glad you touched that point because it's, it's, the, the, the you heard the brother talk about reading a while ago. Yeah. In a sense, you kind of write with the reading thing, you know. Because right, yeah, you, in a sense, you kind of yeah, write. When you read, and you read with them want you to read, you kind of get more brainwashed into what them want you to know. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's why. True. That's why we talk about the Gnostics now, where you come, come know to experience. Because yeah. as them say, experience teach wisdom. That is really what is the greatest teacher of all, you know. All right, yes, the Bible, you know, yeah. it might have some news to you if you have occult knowledge, esoteric knowledge, numerology, astrology, mm. witchcraft, yeah. and paganism. Yeah. You know, if you don't have them knowledge, they, because most of it is written in, in symbolic form. Yeah. You can't, it you, you, you can't it literally take it word for it. It never me you read it. Yeah, so if, if you don't have them knowledge, then you can't fling it to it and have no use to it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You literally don't have no use to it. Still, but as we said, because of the, of the, of the, of the, of the misinformation, because we are telling you them also to write, you know, so even if you have your thing where you call your PhD, you know, you can't fling that away because 99% of the things that them teach you in other schools is yeah, just pure, sense, I know. Yeah, yeah, it's just pure garbage. When, yeah. when, when you, when you go out there and you see other knowledge and you see, yeah, you know, of course, you, you know, you, you marvel, you say, all them, them are, all them now really teach as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the way things are going on and the way science are advanced so quick, that things where you learn in a school five years ago, to say you're going to come out, come get a job, by the time you come out of school, you know, that knowledge is of no more significance. Right, because because even when you dive down in a, in a, in a spiritual knowledge, you say, you always uh, evolve where you know now. Of course. Yeah, yeah, gonna know, yeah, gonna know. It's on Christianity yeah. don't evolve, yo. It's on Christianity don't evolve, yo. Yeah, cause I agree with all man, lippy, all with them, man, they say, yo, every man has to look to them own higher self as them own teacher. Don't yeah. look for entity outside yeah. of you for your, be your, be your teacher. Yeah, look within yeah. yourself for be your, for be your teacher still, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's it. That's but still that is that, it's all right, all right. We don't really want to say that still, but. Yeah, go on, when, when you, when you quote manly a while ago. Yeah. That is that that is a esoteric teaching where most sages have before man leader, not him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree, I agree. You know, I agree. Yeah, and I yeah. Man, even the Egyptian them. Yeah, you know, it, you have it, Egyptian it, it, them, the dunce that are already in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the Egyptian. You have the, you have the, 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 the Chinese, the Indian, the, the Tibetan people, Buddhist. Them preach the same doctrine, yeah, you know? Yeah, because where your final system is that all consciousnesses are one still, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is 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 that you might just come you might just choose a different road but just all consciousness. So many leaves one, one tree, so many seas of rivers one sea. Yeah. Uh, before before me go still yeah, me, yeah. Me, 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 there's an expert me want to bring up still. Yeah, you have to uh, say it quick I wait till me don't play the advertisement then. Which one you want? Quick, um, say it quick, say it quick, say it quick. Ah, me, 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 we to play the advertisement. Right. Yeah, you're talking and listening to the cutting edge. Yes, yeah, 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 me there, you know? Yeah. All right, yeah, me, that's a this stuff. The, the, the Gnostic set, that's a still, that seem like, oh, we would have, would have raised some fowl and, and, and some, um, and oat and pig and them thing there and, you know, kill them at a certain time. It seems so the archons, them grow we and use it for our souls and our, our energy, you know? And the, the, the reason why I kind of believe that is that because I, 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 I see a thing with a matter about um, past life regression, you know? Mm -hmm. Past life, yeah, past life regression is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, a certain type of hypnosis, hypnosis where, where hypnosis use, mm -hmm. and you can use it to go back in a, in a, in a mm -hmm. past life or your future life, uh, your present life, you can use it to solve out any problem mm. where you want, where, where you want to solve out, you know. So that's why I'm a belief card. The Nazi did attack us. Some, some, we get reused back in the matrix car. The arch and them have the powers can rewrite your memory and stuff like them thing, you know. Mm. Some things they have seen are like, um, scientific. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. Before I'm going to, I'm going to ask me if you, 
for your contact number. You want to call back the operator and get her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. call me and say, must be the contact number. Tell them why your contact number. All right, yeah. Before me go still, see? Right. I want you to ask the government. Uh, 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 me must question. ask the government. Yeah, man. So uh, why you not ask them? them? Why you not ask them? You, because you, you, yeah, the voice can answer that, you know, and every more you hear than me still. All right. Oh, you're on the radio, so them good all are listening. One of them good are with one girl. You're not supposed to be with All right. Oh, yeah, oh, hey, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. You think I joke me? I make with Mr. that, don't you? No, 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 no. I'm not joking, man. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. listened to you still, you know? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Um, no, say it like you talk to them, you know. No, say it like you talk to me, you know. Because me, I say one of them could have done with a girl right now. Yeah, all right. We yeah. get some documents where, 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 where we are civil out still. I talk about specifically through the banking system still. We are done civil thought yet. But the part that strikes my eye still is that me, me have to really ask them it still. I, I, I'm, yeah, is that I, what I must say is that banks is allowed to print them own money. Government write it. The banks allow to print them own money, yet still the government cannot print their own money. For example, if banks can create money out of tin, you know, car, if the bank say the bank bank ten dollar with the central bank, the central bank the, the banks can lend ten times more the money when they buy at the central banks. So them them it in to last so them can print them own money. But the government cannot print their own money. Every government, the, the money has to print, has to come through the central banks. And we don't know, so the central bank in Jamaica, which is the Bank of Jamaica, is a private entity. It's not a government institution. You know what I mean? And we don't know who the, the, the families who control that. So, we would have asked them why them can't bring a laugh. Did the government print them all the money? Hence, they would have, would have, would have stopped pay so much tax upon the money where they, where, where they borrow and I put the people in a, in a eternal debt where they can't come out because the IMF now help we call them I'm going to make sure that we don't come out of debt mm. we always are going in our debt and we, we grand grand people them are always in our debt so, it, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so they need to put in a better system you know, the, without the bank because right now when you look at the economy the banks they must have them have billions of dollars Yet still, you know, see that touch you could in a yeah, tell you. Yeah, NCB yeah, make how much billion dollars a year already. Yeah, billion. you see more and Sajik more. Sajik war, you know, Sajik yeah. war, I mean. Yeah, because we understand how the system works still in a car. We don't know, see, a large people run Jamaica. You know what I mean, large people run the institution. And for any of them things, they still. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. The whole hand, the whole hand, the whole hand. I want to love fight against large people, so that's that. No, we don't have a fight. We have family and friends. Like, like, yeah, like, 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 large people on Jamaica, like, push a large person. Yeah, yeah. Every, oh, every, all of them have to come to you. Oh, no, 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 prime no, no, minister, no, no, them, no, no, them, no, 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 the, the politicians them have to go through the land system. Where you get that because, from? Because that's, that's at the center of the power. That's no, the me say. That. And that not only happens in a Jamaica, you know? No, we are not no, all on a man. So you yeah. say Lisa Anna is a large woman. Yeah, you have to come through them. Oh, you know that, Bridget. You know, no. Where you get that, say, it have to do it. Where you say it have to do it. So from a man, so, so for your turn, politician, you have to go through that to be a politician. Ne not necessarily. If you go here, when you go up, higher up the levels, and when yeah. you're in a like ministerial position, you have to be a large person. Yeah, you have to be a large person. But not no go so rich. No, not no go so rich. Uh, no, all right, no, you said before, not no go so. No, no. Why you research it? No, I mean, don't research it already, man. I said not no go so. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. well, we can agree. No, I mean, no, 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 why we must do that? Agree for disagree. That are you no, no. Me, me, I say you can't. You might say that, but me say yeah. It goes so, you know. But when I ask you, oh, you come to that conclusion? Yeah, research show that. What research? research, research what research show you? What research? Research. Show you? The, 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 the the power base. Are they 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 structure? Uh, every country. Uh, every country are they, are they, in the world. Every country. Yeah. Come to large people. Every our secret society is Freemason. Can we tell you that we have family and friends in it? Reggie, you know Freemason is you know free, what what? All right, tell me about Freemason. Free you know, I mean? No, we the way, no, we the way, what, what is Freemasonry? What is Freemasonry? Is a is a, is a, is a secret society. That what? You know what, what, I mean? what, what the secret society consists of? I mean, what it is? So what it consists of? Yeah, what is that? When you say a Freemason is a secret society, what is it that? Yeah. Is that make it secret? What what them do that make it secret? 
Well, them, them, them have knowledge in terms of them have more knowledge than like advanced one, than the like average one, person. Like what? Like what kind of knowledge? Well, uh, leadership knowledge, business knowledge, uh, but are those people run the thing, you know what I mean? No, no, I'm going to come out of the road, 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 road in the thing now because I mean, I agree with that part, guys. So make me come now to something now about the Freemasonry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say Freemasonry is a yeah. secret society. And large thing. people. No, yeah. wait there. We are talking about Freemasonry. Yeah. You say Freemasonry is mm -hmm. a secret society thing. Yeah. Right. What is it that you. It, 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 you sound to me like you say it's a negative thing. Yeah, it All right. is. So what is, it, so what is it that makes Freemasonry secret negative? What is it that? All right. Makes? If 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 you you see, if you look how we are going in a Jamaica right now and the world we are going right no, now. No, we are man. Well, no, well, no, well, 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 if you study the history of Jamaica and yeah. the history of the United States, the founding fathers are Freemasons. Right, the 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 the, the whole of them from Lincoln. Lincoln was a thirty thirty three degrees Mason. Um, or oh, this brother again, where you call? No, we no matter what you got far over this one. That's something I try to figure out from you. Yeah, may I ask you the question? What is it that is negative about a Freemason secret society? Why you put a secret connotation on it? Because uh, those people control the government and the religious sector. Those people, yeah, the those people, the control the, the, government, the government and, and the, the religious sector. Which religious sector? Which religious? Which religious? Ah, right across all like boats. Yoruba tradition and all these things. Ah, right across Ke all boats. Like Yoruba, Buddhism, all of them things there. Right across all boats. Chancing across all All right, we're going to ask you a question now. Yeah. You feel that any time a man gets successful, it's because he becomes Freemasonry. Um, um, not in all cases, but I would have said 90% of the time. Like Bob Marley and Yusian Bowles and all them people there. You feel that they're it, 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 it can be, it can be possible because when, when you, all right. Um, Bridget, for example. Bridget, yeah. I'm going to cut you up now, Steve, because I don't well, know. Wait, no, wait, well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, Bridget. You say Christian right-wing people... You see, conspiracy theories. Yeah. Christian right wing people always yeah. develop conspiracy theories that make you start to know negate what is real, that you can't separate what is real from what is unreal. All right. And so part of where you're, part of where you're exposed are right now yeah. is something where the right wing Christian people develop. All right, listen to yeah. what I'm asking you, right? All right, now I'm going to move because you're going to Yeah, 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 but listen to what I'm asking Yeah, before, but, but I'm going to go. There, there, is, there is a family who control the, the entertainment in the United States. And family. every entertainer who right. gets successful, I forgot through them. In the United, yes. So Bob yes. Marley, because, all right, so Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Bonnie Wheeler, um, when the, when the youth are named Sean Paul, Shaggy, all of them will come from Jamaica. If, and when my boy name Beyonce, P. Diddy, Jay-Z, I'm not sure about the Jamaicans. Yeah, but a white people, people but, a, a white people, no, a Christian no, black yeah, people, but, 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 but every but time a black the, person, the United States, Bridging, so. Bridging, not, not go so rasta. People become great because of their merit and because people love you. No, all right. And everybody I, 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 go I there because saying... somebody send them go there. Anyway, we have to move. Let me tell you that. Yeah. yeah, this is the cutting edge on IRFM. Okay, so we depend it. All right. We don't talk about food in a yeti. We don't talk about women in Jamaica. We never tell you about Juju in a Nigeria where the Yoruba tradition come from. Where you find the Yoruba tradition in a Brazil and you find the Yoruba tradition in a Cuba and Trinidad. Ironically, Jamaica not really have Yoruba tradition as part of this indigenous development. But anyway, yes. Hello, sir. Cutting edge. Yeah, man. Respect. Bless him. Yes, man. I know it's not um if we talk about Jesus, Lord and God, you know. But we're gonna to touch on a, a Hebrew perspective now. Okay. The name Yahweh and Yahshua. Is it true that there is no divine inspiration wherein we can say 
the, the, the Jesus thing and the Lord thing and the God thing. Because when you say God, I would really like to know the name behind it. The name behind because, it. Because, you know, God is a title. Yeah? Yeah, well, God not have no name. Me. God, God, not just God. I mean, we don't have no yeah. name. But I, I like when people talk about God. They, they, they put a name behind it, you know, like Yahweh. Yeah, but Yahweh, Yahweh and God are two different something. Yeah, because when they say God, you know, they, they, they don't give the full name of the person. It's just a title so, name, so, you know? so what is the real name of the person? Yahweh. Oh, you know that. Well, it's coming to his son, Yahshua. No, no. Because oh, I, he no, said no, that on, I will come in my father's name. Yeah, no, well, on, yeah. Man. Yeah, well, on, man. Yes, well, sir. Yes, sir. Yahshua. Yes. Is a Hebrew, supposed to be a Hebrew man, right? Yes, sir. Well, he 2,000 years ago. Yeah. And you say now, Yahshua say that him come in one now. His father's name. Yeah. All right. So I ask you a question now. Where you get that reasoning from? What? You mean um, no, Yahweh and no, Yahshua? No, no, The argument about him say and when name say, where you get it reasoning from? Well, through, um, where does I know? Looking through different perspectives on the internet. Oh, the internet, you go find that? Yes, internet. Because I remember say Yahweh and Yahshua, not in the Bible. Yahweh, Except in Yahweh. The I'm checking the New Jerusalem Bible of yes. Yahweh. Yahweh and Yahshua. Yes. Yes. So, and he so, said he's going to come in his father's So name. when you yeah. see it on the internet now, it validates yes. that there is a man who will tell you, say, he will come in and name Yahweh. Yes. Yahshua. So, so if it was on the internet, you would know about that? Well, not really. As I okay. said, there was a New Jerusalem Bible that say um, Yahweh. Yeah, but, but you never read it yet? Yes, I read it. I used to go to St. George's College. You used to have a New Jerusalem Bible there. And it says Yahweh in the New Jerusalem Bible. Yes, yes. Okay. Sir. And it's it, it saying the New Jerusalem Bible. So from it saying the New Jerusalem Bible, it's so it go. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because Joshua, a Mashiach, is going to come in his father's name. Yeah. That is a Hebrew terminology. I appear Hebrew terminology I use it. So. Yes, it's straight Hebrew me dealing with now. Yeah, but so oh, you so you are trying to tell me now, say mm. this where is the creator of heaven and earth you are talking about? Yes, man. Yes, All right. Man. So you are telling yeah, me yeah, yeah. so this creator of heaven and earth only speak yeah. in Hebrew language. No, in give all the language of the earth, sir. And the Torah of Babel, he no. gave all the language of the earth. The Torah of Babel, what happened by the Torah of Babel? They was trying to build a Torah going to the sky. We up in the sky. Oh, you mean we up in the and sky? Yeah, you have building with taller than the Torah of Babel and nobody not get confused when they have built it. Yeah, but that was, as far to the Bible, that was where the language so you, were confounded so, so, to many so, people. So, so may I ask you a question, Bridget? Yes. You believe, say, some man have built a building and the whole that have one language. Yes. And because them have built a skyscraper building, the whole of them get confused and start talking different, different language? Yes, because you never want them to go further with the building. Who never want them to go further? The creator. Why Yahweh. Why them never want them to go further? I don't know why. Then, then you see a story I read and I believe the thing like... like. But you don't know, believe that then? Believe what? Yeah. Say, say man have built a building and because... He might build the building and he might go too far with the building. Everybody start talking like different language. Yeah. But what I'm saying... So, wait, so, man, so wait, have... wait, let me ask you a question. The mm. people, them, who did I build that building there? Which part of them did I build the building? Which country them did not build the building? Well, that building is supposed to have been in the Middle East. So what? the Middle East. So what? Babylon, the Iraq. So, so what to the people them where they are China? Them never take part in the building. You probably there was there too, yes? So it's Chinese people, Indian people, all kind of people that build the building. Look so, yeah. But, but all, at that time, all of them did attack one language. One language, yeah. So when them start, when them get confused now, yeah. those who talk certain language go to one place and those who talk a language go to a different place. I don't know. But there was a confusion with the language, you know. No confusion never did them. So what the language did they talk before? I don't know. Don't know the language. You but know. no, you have said the language where God attacked to is Hebrew. 
if I was to him speak to who he want to speak to in their language too. So, so him don't talk to the English people in the English language? Yes, but no, I don't well, think you... English, I don't think English was, um, in those days was really but up Hebrew, here at but the time. The why you think the Hebrew was in those days? Eh? Hebrew? You remember, say, you remember say the Israelite them come out, they but you see, June Tom and Baby, like, you know, Hebrew never there, you know? No, okay. Israel never there about. No. Yeah, Israel come from Abraham and Isa. Sorry, yes. not Abraham and Isa. Yeah. Abraham, um, Sarah, Jacob. Isaac, Jacob, turn Israel, yeah. and Israel have 12 sons. Yes. Yeah, that's a I long after. But that's a long after the Babel thing. Yeah. So, yes. what, what kind of language Adam did that talk? I don't know. I just say I don't know. So why you know feel the, the so why you feel the language that God never used all the talk before Hebrew language? Yes. So the Bible not tell you about a language before Hebrew language. It, it speak of the language, of course, mm -hmm. but, but them don't say like the name of it. Like then all them tell you about the book. answer from yeah, Ghana. But, they never said street. Yeah, but them tell and you. They never said this or that. Yeah, you know? but them tell you said the language get confused and the tower of Babel. Yes. So what languages was getting confused to the point now when them started to talk it? Because in a, a, know, in a you know, Cameroon, in a Cameroon. That was where most of the language were made as far as, far as what I get to understand. You mean as far as you're reading the Bible? Right, right. Not right. What I'm reading not the not Bible. Not, not understand it. Not the way you read. Not to understand mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Because intelligence, intelligence, if you really are thinking about it, brethren, yeah. But I tell you the truth. If you really are think about it, you mm -hmm. have to think, say, no. Some people have built a building. All of them did attack one language. Yeah. And some people have built a building. And because them have built the building too much story, I, them language get confused. So, yeah. So that knows ushering the different languages where you find on the earth. Yes, that's what I would get to understand. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but back to back to Yahweh and Yeshua. Yeah. You feel that there is no um consideration, you know, in your in your knowledge mm. that not no go so? No no go where oh but Yahweh, Yahweh and Yeshua. The but, name, but, the name. But, but it's a Hebrew name, oh you mean? It's of a course, Hebrew name. Of course, yeah Yeshua is a Hebrew name. Okay. Yashua is a Hebrew and name. The and yeah, what I'm saying that you, you believe to your knowledge because mm -hmm. you are very knowledgeable no, no, person. No, no, you believe through you believe through um in praying to Yahweh through his son Yahshua. I know pray to there Yahweh. Is no redemption of sin. I know pray to Yahweh and I know pray to Yahshua and I know pray okay. to Jesus. And you don't pray to Silasi neither. No, I know pray. To Silasi. No. Oh, because it's true, the tribe of Judah, that's still yeah, I have to say, I know prayer, you don't understand? Okay, you understand you, I understand yeah, so my understand. prayers, my prayers, is not pretty, it's, it's not, come, come later so far for now, I look in for no redemption of no sin, from okay. no individual okay. person. Okay, I don't and you don't pray. believe that, that a man came how much thousands years ago, like, by the name like, of Yahshua, how much years that you redeemed to Buddha, sin. You want to Buddha, Want to Buddha? Yeah. Want to Buddha? Yeah. Buddha. You know, Buddha have that in a day collaborate. No, man. In, in, in their know, no, vocabulary you, too? That no, wait there. No, no, no. Save people life? No, man. Okay. Ask, no. You, you believe, yeah, you, say, you believe say a man did come named Buddha in a India to save Indians from sin? If I believe that? Yeah. You believe say a man did name Buddha did come to save people from sin in our India? I don't really say no, you know, but oh, those set of people that. They don't believe that. that. Those set of people believe that. Yeah, and then now, so if them believe that, and the Jew mm. them believe yeah. about Yahshua, why you no believe about Yahshua? Are you not Jew? Are you not Israel? Because you know? I know them don't put up a statue of him. Put up a statue of who? Yahshua. No, what may I say? If the, if the, 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 the Yahshua is the Hebrew language, you know, Yes, so ma obviously it's a Hebrew man you talk about. Yes, right? man. All right. Yes, Hebrew man deal. Yeah, and but, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. And okay. Eat, wait there. And Buddha is an Indian man. Yes. You say to me now that is Yahshua going to save people from sin. Yes. 
So he must see the Indian and the Chinese, the African, the red yes. Indian. Every, everybody in the world, yeah. But this, the, 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 the blood and the yeah. skin. But the Af but the God with them people they are worship now is not Yahshua can't save them. Yeah. And that you say, right? No. Them that like, for them God can't save them. It's only the evil God. God. I no, 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 no. God. No, I know you don't know, but I say you just say yeah. is the Yashua blood that will save everybody, you know, whether they're yeah. Chinese Indian yeah. or something. Right, so right, they, right. So in other words, you are saying the God where the Chinese are worship can't save yeah. them. It's only the Hebrew God can't save them. As I just say I don't know. Dear God. Oh, no, no. no I know not, my part. No, all right. So so the Hebrew God will save you. Yes, but it and the whole world, the colonist name. Yeah, but that, that me I said to you, brethren, you are saying is the only, the Hebrew God I can save everybody. Which I know, which I know of. No, you don't know that. You don't know that. Who would save so far? For the 2,000 years right there, who would save? Who would save? No, yeah. Who, who the two thousand? the same you are talking about? Who would yes. save so far? Where you know it save? Who would save? Who believe in him? And who? God like who? Name. Like who? Tell me who. Give me a name. Anybody at all. No, give me a name. No, give me a name of somebody. No, I can't you. give you a name. All right. So, can't so, give you a name. So you don't know nobody then? You don't, you don't no, know No, no, I don't know of nobody. All right. So, you can't tell physically looking at a man. Oh, you have to tell him when he's dead? Yeah. Yeah, it, not so when he's dead, you know. Yeah. But when, when, the, when the trumpet blow, the, when the, the last trumpet, trumpet blow. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. I can stick, I can stick, I can go down. And I can cut you, I can go down. I want to get the thing clear. Yes. It's only Yahshua can save everybody in the world. Yes. It's blood. Right, yeah, right. yeah. So, so but, 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 but Yahshua is a Hebrew God. Yes. All right. So yeah, yeah, the Chinese have him God. Yes. The Africans, them have for them gods. The, yes. The right. Australian yes. Aboriginal yes. people have for them God. Yes. And the red man in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, um, in a, in a America have for them God. Now you are telling me, say no. Mm -hmm. The God where the Chinese, the Indian, all of them people that God can't save them. It's only the Hebrew God can't save them. The one where you like. No, it's not what I like. It's where you love. It's how powerful he is. So what power him show me, if you show me, say, he might go save everybody in the world. How, how, how you get to that? It's a promise. You have well, a promise. Well, well, um, well, as I said, based on the Bible and internet connection. It all it all there, 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 you know there is no other there is no other mighty one but 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 that do the work and the power that but he Yashua. and his son do. What power him do? What power? Show me tell me the power where, where, where him do that you can convince me or convince the Chinese man or the Indian say that is what what's the power? What's the power? Yeah, what's the power that he manifests? Well, in war, in which war? Nobody can beat him. But Any that, type but of we, war. But we, no, but yeah. we, the Hebrew them they carry him to war, and the, the, the Hebrew them get dispersed, and the Roman them come take over Jerusalem. Yeah. So all you say is what war? Because right? of the sin. Because no, of the sin. Who sin? The Romans them are the Hebrew. No, them. Hebrews them. So the Romans them yeah. never sin then. Of course they sin. Then if the Roman, if 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 them are, if them are walk with the Lord. Mm-hmm. The Christian, them are walk with the Lord. He's not Christian. They're not Christian. All right, Yahshua. The, the people who yes. follow Yahshua are walk with the yes, Lord. Man. And the Romans come there and kill them off and carry them go around, go turn them in at some... Yeah, spectacle. because they turn from their creator. Who turn from them creator? The Israelites. No, I'm not about the Israelites. No, no, I'm not about the Christian. Where, where you know I'm no, Christian. no, Christian. We're not Christian. All right, tell me where you is, where you is, where you is. Mm -hmm. Where you is, what you... The assembly of Yahweh. All right. You, you I mean, you call and Yahweh name. So may I ask, you didn't have the assembly of, you didn't have the assembly of Yahweh 2,000 years ago? Eh? You didn't have the assembly of Yahweh 2,000 years ago? Yes. You didn't have them. Paul was, yes. Paul was one of them? Yes. Paul was at, at the assembly of Yahweh? Yes, sir. All right. Who killed Paul? Roman. All right. So may I ask, it's, it's, it's turned, Paul turned away from Yahweh, why the Romans kill him? No. Why the, why the Romans kill him? Him say, Yahshua said, so as they do to me, so they, they will do to you. Remember, Peter so asked. So, so wait there. Faith to Yahweh, turn him upside so down. So Yahweh, Yahweh get killed. Yeah, them kill. So them kill Yahweh? Eh, no, they kill his son. Okay, them kill they him kill son. kill his son. Yes. Because his son came on earth. And them kill in him. In the flesh. Oh, in, in the flesh. 
Oh, it's not God give him up to die. It's not it's not Yah, no. it's not Yahweh give him up to die. Oh. Uh, it's not Yahweh give him son up to die as a living sacrifice that you shall watch it. Yes, yes, yes. Then oh yeah, then, it can't, anyway, anyway. No, what, I, what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, sir. me understand what you're saying. No. Me understand what you're saying, Bridget. Me understand yes, what you're saying. Yes, man, because as I'm saying, yeah. the J world where you call all the while and the Lord. Yeah, and yeah, yeah me know. Just, I just title and name of it. Oh, which name? Which Look, name? Which, name? which title you're talking about? Jesus. You hear me talk about Jesus? Yes, it I'm is good. We're not going to talk about Jesus when people are talking about Jesus. Yes, it's six to go to heaven. Me know. I, no, but I know. I know why I got heaven. I know why I got heaven in a bridging. Me know, me know. That's yes. what I said. I don't even want to call those names. Yes, yes. Because that's uh, not the real name of the Creator. Yahshua is the real, Yahshua is the real name of the Son of the Creator. Yes, sir. I'm a Shia. I'm calling him when I come to his father's and who, name. Yeah. And who is Yahshua's mother? Who is Yahshua's mother? Yes. Mary. Mary is Yahshua's mother. Yes, the Hebrew lady. But the Hebrew lady never named Mary. Eh? The Hebrew lady never named Mary. Well. What do you mean, where? I don't know. I don't know. No, I want to know the J word then. No, I mean, I tell you, but I, I, I tell you now, say it's right. something confusing. The thing confusing yeah, okay. because you can't. It's not the J word alone. Ah, that me it's other, other names yeah. are in the Bible. Yeah, yeah that me I show you. So Mary is yeah, not the yeah. mother of, of Yahshua. Yeah. Mary is the mother of Jesus. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So but as I say, it's not, it's not, um, it's not what? Uh, Jesus. It's not Jesus. No, it's I Yashua. know, I have said, the, who is mm. the mother of Yahweh, Yahshua? Yahshua. Mary. That's it, what it must be Mary. Mary. But it can't be Mary. Well, well, if it's not Mary, it's some Hebrew name to Mary. <laughs> not me, I'm because it's it, right. letter J, right. not supposed to be in the Bible. No, no but at, at the J, you're the pan. At the J, you're the yes, pan. Yes, because J. J came in existence 600 yes. years ago. Virgin, I know, I know that, you know. It is not but, in the Hebrew calendar, but which you not, talk about all the while. It's Virgin. I know that, yes. you know, that me talk about. You just yes. tell me, say, Yahshua, mother, mm -hmm. was Mary. Yes. I I tell you, sir, she never near Mary. Okay. You believe that? Let, you, believe, no, you believe that? Name, no, no me ask if you fine. believe that. You believe that your yes, mother never near Mary? Can be. So I why you don't the name? What is it? Is, so what, why you don't find? So why you don't find out the Hebrew name? For, for Mary? Woman, for the, no, no, not for Mary. For the woman who you says me your mother. Okay. Because okay. you can't find out the Hebrew name for Mary. Okay. But the know. Hebrew name for <laughs> Jesus is not Yahshua. No. Then uh, that's what the Hebrew name for because Mary. Zeus, no. as Zeus, as Zeus, Jesus comes out. The, the, the Hebrew, the English name for, for Yahshua is Joshua. Yeah. The English name for Yahshua is Joshua. Yeah. So no. But if, you remember, same name can't change, you know. Oh, you mean him name can't change? I mean, I told him no. Name. Oh, you change your mother's name. So, oh, you change your birth certificate. Your name cannot change. Yeah, man, you can't change it, man. You can't change the name by your birth certificate. Yeah, but he never yeah. changed his name. But, yeah. Oh, you know his that. Name. Oh, you, you ever seen birth eh? certificate yet? Sure. No. You ever seen well, that's birth? his name. Anyway, here you know. We have to move. No, well, I know, man. No, I mean, well, I know. 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 Yeah. Where is the garden he appeared and possible uh, uh, place where it would be? I'm going to explain it to you now. According yes, to the Bible yes. that I read, yes. it is in parts of Iraq and Turkey. And Syria and Turkey, yes. Yeah, because it, no, when, when you want to find a river, you have, got, have to go to the river here. Yeah, I am just telling you, according to the Bible, yes. the garden of Eden lies between Iraq Yes. Turkey and, Turkey. and Syria. Yeah. yeah, that is why. Okay. Because you free yes, these rivalries. Yeah, yeah man. all right. Yeah, man. So don't bother, no don't bother lump me in a whole heap of things. No, 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 no. It, it's just you, you were talking about, a lot of us still, you know. When like, I talk. Yeah, the feeding came yeah, from yeah. Africa. No, I never, you never hear me say nothing like that. Okay, you all right, sir. Sorry for saying that. You never but, hear me tell you nothing, say me believe in Adam and Eve neither. I never hear me talk. No, no, no. well, you know, sister, so, don't talk about Adam. All right, so let me ask you a question. Talking about Yahweh. 
Me can ask you a question. So may I ask you a question now. Just yes, after sir. a while, you know. Yes, sir. When when Yash Yahweh drive out the two people them out of the Yeah, not feed them. Where him put to protect the guard? Him put something in front of the guard. Cherubim, cherubim, um, and, and angel, angel. And, no, and, and what? And cherubim. Yes. So what? It was a flaming war. It was a flaming sword. Yeah. You didn't read that? No, no, I mean so them say. No, the Bible. Yeah, no, yeah the Bible says so. Yeah, yeah, No, yeah. Hebrew Bible I read, man. Yes, you man. You know, you're going like you're grown. Uh, no, I didn't I think that. I think the Bible I read, you know, the so, yeah, King so, James Version. Yeah, and, and the, the, but the New, the New Jerusalem Bible said the same thing, man. Yes, yes. All right, so let me ask you a question now. Yes, sir. The sword, where was in front of the, where the gate or the, the entrance and thing? Where, yeah. Where that sword they come from? Sword, yeah. Well, I think his, his army of angels carry sword, you know. So, wait then. So, but iron never, them never invent iron in them days. Then. Iron, then the iron makes sword, man. Steel makes sword. Yeah, man. Yeah, everything, everything, um, no, but everything, make, everything was made like. long ago before no, even creation. Bridge, before creation, you did have iron, yes, man. And sword, and still have, and, and trumpet, have. and trumpet, yes. Before creation, you didn't have trumpet? No, no, in the creation. In the oh, creation, yeah, they you have those things. So, so the angels, them up in the heaven, did not make trumpet and sword? Yeah, they have music. Music. In the heaven? In the heaven? Yes. Them have trombonists and trumpet and saxophonists in the heaven? Trombone. They have instruments. And sword. And sword in the heaven? Sword, yeah. Because I remember the donkey was the, the, the angel was standing up. And you believe right, them something? With the sword. And you believe that? Eh? See a snake all attack and all them something there. Yes, yes. All right, me gone, 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 Bridget. 